Greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Sarf, and today we're going to be playing a little more Mech Warrior 5. Uh, what I affectionately call Seraph's advanced course in 31st century geopolitical violence. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to obviously have a little bit of fun with this. Uh, when last we left off, we had, uh, as far as the story goes, the story portion of this game, uh, the weird mercenary company that ambushed us at the very start of the game and killed our father, uh, named Black Inferno, of course. We've started to associate Black Inferno activity. Wait, there's trees out? Yeah, there are trees out of my window. <laughs> yes, uh, let's see. Greetings, Saram. Uh, let's see if Seraph can go the correct direction here yeah there we go <laughs> so there there we are welcome everybody to my uh to my south florida paradise as it were i uh, got a couple of palm trees right outside my window and um right let's see if i could aim okay there we go um sorry i don't actually have my camera inverted it's just look it's like looking in a mirror like wait which way am i pointing again um but yeah so there are palm trees right outside my window and just across the street there are some more uh, kind of like typical North American trees. And in there I have a, I shouldn't say me. I don't, my neighborhood has a uh, couple of wild parrots who are extremely talkative. Those parrots are always chipper and having a good old time. <laughs> so yes, greetings all. It would help if I didn't smack my uh, microphone there. But uh, greetings. Yes. Uh, life is good. How are you, Sarah? Good to see you as always. Uh, where, what is good new in Seraph's world? Yeah, I'm taking today off. I took today off. Today was an errand day. Uh, I've seen the palm trees before, but I thought behind that was like a seaside. Yeah, nope. Uh, I'm, uh, so I'm sort of close to the beach, but I'm like 10, I'm like 10 minutes away from the beach, <clears throat> which is good because it doesn't take me very long. All I have to do is hop up the road there and just take that to the beach. It literally does take about 10 minutes. I think it's like 11 and change, uh, depending on how I hit traffic lights. And uh, right there is is the beach, and uh, which is really nice to run on at night. And at this time of year, there are uh, turtle nests, but I don't know who goes out there and and looks for the turtle nests. But they do a fantastic job of taping them off. And what's really nice is my area, at least. I don't know. I think a lot of areas do this, but ours in particular, uh, when it's turtle season, we turn off the lights in that area because the lights would attract the the, the turtles and they would run away from the beach instead of towards the ocean. So uh, at night, it's beautiful out there. You don't have as much light pollution. I mean, we still have the big city of Fort Lauderdale that's fairly close to me. And so that kind of messes things up. Yep, we got turtles. We, we have tons of turtles. Uh, oh my goodness. We've got turtle nests up the wazoo. I would say on average, every 30 feet, there's like a turtle nest. And whoever is out there, and I'm I'm assuming that they're they're affiliated with our Gumbo Limbo Preservation Society. And there's just like little couple of sticks, and then there's like a little bit of like little tape out there. Uh just so that you don't accidentally stumble across it or anything else, which works for me because that allows me the freedom to just run up the beach and I don't have to worry about stepping on anything. And there, yeah, there, it's, it's pretty cool. Hop off the mysterious unsung hero, I, right? I, I I would love to give them a shout out, but I don't actually know how the mysterious turtle nest cordons actually appear. But someone down here does a really nice job of cordoning them off. And uh, so, yeah, so that's, it's a really nice time to be doing that. But no, I'm not, I'm not right up, right up, right up on the beach. But that works for me because Florida kind of has a tendency to get hurricanes. So I'm just as I'm just far enough inland where I don't have to worry about the storm surge. So when hurricanes show up, I don't have to evacuate. Actually, I'm on one of the highest elevation areas in the area. So pretty much, uh, and I looked at the the, the elevated le the the topographical map of the area when I was buying my house. Uh, more Serum Robo today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna have more mechs with SRMs on them. <laughs> That is definitely the order of the day. <laughs> and so, uh, yes, getting back on track because Seraph has can be sidetracked a, a little bit here. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, uh, so I saw some hurricane alerts. No, Florida wasn't affected at all. Uh, it bypassed us completely. You're referring to Hurricane Barrel, which was actually pretty scary. It got up to like a Hurricane 4 or 5 um, and kind of, but fortunately, all of that real high intensity area was just over water. By the time it actually hit land, 
it had already been uh, roughed up by a couple of mountainous islands. Um, and so the damage and, and death tolls were, were remarkably low. I mean, one is too many, but when you've got a storm, when you, when you hear category five, uh, and the total death toll, I think was like seven or something like that. It's that you, 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 you know, you, you thank your praises because we, we got off pretty lucky. Uh, everybody got off pretty lucky on that. I think it made landfall in Texas as a category one. So for the most part, it was just a little windy and just kind of rainy. But yeah, we we got lucky on that one. But yeah, Florida gets a ton of hurricanes. We're we're always at risk of something coming our way. Yeah, scary. Yeah, I'm yeah. Likewise, I'm I'm glad it wasn't too bad. And uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm obviously not as familiar with the cyclones that hit a lot of the south uh, southeastern Asian countries. But I know um, from uh, talking to a few people that lived in Japan or were stationed in Japan for a while. Uh, they would talk about cyclones and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's like not a big deal. And I'm thinking like, that's heavier wind than we get. How is it not a big deal? And it's like, well, you know, they have, they have the infrastructure that's, uh, that's much more capable of handling it. I guess their building codes are a little better. So eh, what can you do? But I'm sort of lucky in that my house was built in 86 and it survived Andrew and it survived some of the other crazy hurricanes that have come here through here. So there's sort of like a survivorship bias. And I kind of have a pretty good idea that this one was built pretty well because it didn't get seriously damaged by any of the other storms that kind of came through. So yeah, they could be a little scary. But uh, but yeah, I live close enough to the beach to enjoy it, but I'm far enough inland and high enough where I just happen to be really situated well, so I don't have to worry as much about flooding or anything else. If I'm underwater, half the state of Florida is underwater, quite literally. So there's that. Now, granted, global warming 20 years from now, who knows, right? But but for at least for today, it's not bad. And so, yes, we're going to play Battletech. Uh, well, MechWarrior specifically, but it's in the Battletech universe. We're going to be in a bunch of stompy robots. So why don't we get this started? But always good to see you, Saram. And you know me, I'm pretty chatty. I'm happy to talk to anybody in chat that uh, kind of wanders through. We always have a good time in here. Stay safe. That's right. Stay safe always. That's always the best priority. And frankly, if a storm's going to be that bad, what I'll do is I, I have hurricane shutters. You can't see them from here, but but they're there. And uh, I could just close them, uh, close them up, secure my entire house. And at that point, I'm off to uh, my relatives up in Pennsylvania, and I'm just going to leave for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I, if it's going to be really bad, yeah, me and the cat, we're packing up and we're, we're just going to get out of Dodge for a little while. I've done that once or twice. I usually only do that if it looks like it's going to be really bad. Yes, SRM Warrior, let's go. <laughs> let's load. We're going to do Black Sun. I thought I could rename the mercenary company after I made it. It turns out that's not the case, so we're, we're stuck with it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. All right, so we, when we last left off, we had adventured in this general area, and again, just for the sake of the, it being the beginning of the stream, and for anybody watching on YouTube, uh, watch that after the fact. Actually, I think most of my viewers at this point are watching these on YouTube. They're not watching them live, but you are welcome to watch me live on Twitch. Feel free. All the details are in the uh, video description below, but um, just to give a quick recap here, we started off over in this general area. This is where Black Inferno ambushed us. Uh, yes. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we started off at DeBerry. This is where we got ambushed by Black Inferno. And now we're rebuilding our mercenary company from the ground up. Our reputation is now eight. We've uh, managed to assemble a couple of mechs now. So our stable is getting better. We started off in this state, which is the uh, Federated Sons. We're in a period of time known as the Third Succession War. So each of these states are warring to uh, essentially become the new Star League. And uh, yeah, so this whole area used to be a, a nation called the Star League. And without getting into the Amari coup or any of the lore, <laughs> oh my God, look, Ma, I'm famous. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if I'm famous, but yeah, it's always nice to be, you know, on the internet. Uh, <laughs> although I, for all I know, it's like my Amazon delivery driver. For all I know, people's like favorite uh, or uh, subscribe, like not subscribe, but um uh, follow me or, or, or have you, um, uh, yeah, I think it is subscribe on YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe is, is the word on YouTube. Uh, just to see my cat when she wanders through and all the chaos that she's causes. 
And it also doesn't help that she's adorable. But I also get all of my neighbors' packages. And I am convinced that the Amazon delivery person likes my cat and purposefully will accidentally drop it off at the wrong place just so he could pay Cleo a visit and give her a pet. <laughs> so I, I suspect that might be going on with my channel as well. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Seraph. Get, get, we, we're not really interested in you or your, or your gameplay. We just want to see the cat. <laughs> and I wouldn't even blame him. They're, my cat's awesome. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need another thing. There we go. And so right now we're in a place called the Capellan Confederation. We are specifically here. We're doing a high reward campaign. I actually forget the details. We kind of got our, we got a little roughed up. My Warhammer got an arm blown off. And so we came over to this industrial hub to repair and kind of lick our wounds a little bit. Yeah, Cleo is super loved. <laughs> she is a spoiled loved cat. I still need to take her to the vet just for a checkup. Um, because I couldn't actually get her in the carrier when I meant to take her when she had her cold. That's how I knew she wasn't all that sick. Because the second I picked her up to put her in that carrier, holy crap. She became very active, turned into a little wet noodle, scooted up the stairs, and I didn't see her for like a couple of hours. So that was a very embarrassing phone call to the vet of like, yeah, I guess she's fine because I can't catch her. <laughs> One of those orange zones inside the colorful ones. Okay, so inside here, these are conflict zones. That is a fantastic question, Saram. <clears throat> and so for the most part, if we're like in any of these areas that I'm pointing out right now that aren't connected by dotted lines, these are your standard fair star systems. We can go anywhere. There's nothing really limiting where we can go in this whole uh, interstellar space. But uh, these colored areas are conflict zones. So these are hotbeds of activity. So pretty much we can expect a lot of missions in here. They're not going to be missions out here. And so this particular region of space is the Duchy of Sitang. It's just a hotbed of warfare. And um, like, for example, this is the Rashpir Owens manufacturing worlds. The refinery systems. Let's see. Yep, the Leo Davian border. And so, yeah, these are areas where uh, the Federated Sons and the Capella Confederation and the Free Worlds League and House Merrick over here, for that matter, have a lot of contested worlds. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. She just turned into practic like liquid. Uh, I couldn't even imagine she could turn that way. <laughs> She's such a little shit. <laughs> uh, and these other areas connected by uh, these little dots here, these are industrial hubs. And that's why we kind of came here. So industrial hubs are where we can buy equipment and various other supplies at a much more reduced cost, just because things are produced at scale and they're a little more available. And conflict zones, things are more expensive because merchants know that you're in a war zone. You're going to pay a premium for those uh, things. And plus, they're also almost giving themselves hazard pay uh, for the privilege. And so right now, we are at this star system called Masterson. While we uh, kind of take care of things. Here we are here. We're in orbit of this particular planet. Let's take a quick look at the equipment tab. And ooh, yep. AC-10. Perfect. Which leads us into one of our other um, minigame type of things or side quests. We have these various cantina missions. So we've got a couple of jobs here. So we need to kill three panther mechs. We need to collect one urban mech. And we also needed to collect two auto cannon two or auto cannon 10 tier twos. We have now done that. So we can now collect that. Oh, we got a tier three gauze rifle. That is awesome. Okay, so that helps us with uh, jump jets, I think. I think that's jump jets. Nope, laser duration. Perfect. So they can uh, they could burn over a shorter period of time, which is nice. Okay, that's not earth shattering, but that's still pretty nice. Okay, that takes care of that. We have ourselves, and it's giving us XP on that. We also gained reputation for that. We have 50 days for our poor Warhammer to finally be properly repaired. <laughs> because Seraph... Seraph didn't do too well at his last mission. But that's okay. We, uh... We got in a little over our heads and a little roughed up. But all in all, we only lost one arm. That's not terrible. We also, I think, did a couple of upgrades. And so while we're waiting for those 50 days, let's cruise over here to this cantina mission. This little green circle thing indicates that there's a cantina here. We can check out whatever rare mech this is, but we can also do that. What I'm thinking is 
we'll we'll burn some time because the way interstellar travel works in this game again just as a reminder we have our own dropship the leopard but the dropship isn't capable of interstellar travel we have to pay for travel on a jump ship and jump ships in this universe you have an endear uh, jump point at the very bottom of the system or the zenith jump point at the very top and essentially you burn all that way to the jump points and you can use the intersection of the uh, essentially the uh, the gravity well of the star and at that point jump almost like a mini teleport to another jump system or another star system at that exact same jump point and this is how we we kind of that's how the battletech universe handles faster than light travel and so yeah we're gonna go to boardwalk here let's travel there we're also gonna get a little bit of a animation there of the jump ship merging and that's our ship departing from the jump ship and starting its burn towards the system. Perfect. Let's see what's here. So I didn't actually check the mech market of that first one. Hopefully there wasn't an urban mech there. Urban mechs are kind of trash mechs. But... Ugh. Well, that's annoying. We will encounter a decent number of javelins, I think. Let's try this. Okay, so we've got a Merrick Leo border and a Duchy of Tang. Actually, I think we want to go to the Duchy of Tang. Yeah, Duchy of Tang. Yeah, we'll take that one. All right, we got to go there anyway. So let's do that and we'll pick up uh, a couple of... Man, we're probably never going to use that life rifle. But we will pick up the better part of 2 million sea builds. And we will level up treasure hunters. So we may as well do that. That's not fantastic. Let's see if there's any good equipment. And then I guess what we'll do is we'll just hunt around for... Ooh, those are actually some pretty good medium lasers. Uh, we don't have any of those. We've got a decent amount of money. Maybe we should just go for the tier 3 medium laser, even though they're short bursts. I'm not usually a big fan of the short burst medium lasers, but there are two of them. You know what? Let's buy them. That way, if our Warhammer gets messed up again... We've got something better that we can upgrade it with. Let's take a look at the mech market. Yeah, I don't really care about the Griffin. Champion kind of sucks. I'm not a big fan of the Champion mech. It's it's nice that it's a little fast, but for a heavy mech, it doesn't have nearly the firepower to me that a heavy mech really should have. So my monitor is 34 inches across, and it's a 21.9 aspect ratio widescreen. Which I love, but it's also why a lot of times when I'm capturing it, there's a blank space above and below my game capture because of the, uh, yeah, <laughs> I love having a very big and immersive screen. Uh, and it didn't fit on my desk. I actually get an, had to get an ar a monitor arm to clamp it to my desk. That was a little bit of an, an adventure. But uh, yeah, it's nice. I like I like my monitor. Uh, it's to me, it's just the right size. It's sufficiently big enough that I can get the immersion that I'm looking for, but it's not so massive that it's, uh, so that's why when you look on in the game, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's why you can see me looking around at a pretty good distance. Um, and it's also curved, which I love a curved monitor for gaming. I'm not a big fan of curved monitors when I'm, I'm like writing, but uh, I love that. Hey, neuter mask greetings, my friend. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're just talking about my monitor as I'm dealing with some uh, Mech Warrior Battletech Universe logistics here. I'm kind of trying to track down a an urban mech, but it, it is so far that's been more of a challenge than I would have liked. We're still not finding particularly good pilots, but I know your story and I'm ready to be of assistance, Commander. You put something in my sights, I'm taking it down. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love the moxie of this pilot, but I don't think I have. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I don't have anybody that's like a total, total degenerate here. So I think I'm going to wait till I find better pilots before replacing any of my current stable of pilots. I think, I think we're good there. So I think we're fine there. All right, let's take a look at our star map. Uh, we've got, let's see, we've got a couple, we've got 20 days to get to there. Um... Yes, howdy doody. Greetings. I'm seven out of ten. Uh, <laughs> that's that's not bad. We'll we'll take that. We'll take that. I think I'm doing like a nine out of ten. Uh, it'd be ten out of ten if my lit review were done. But 
like I said, when uh, whenever I'm streaming, that's when I'm taking a break from all of my academic studies and my writing to be like, okay, now it's time to have fun, some fun. We're going to get to that. And then I'll worry about my lit review again tomorrow. Uh, I imagine a game with many small writings like this does look better on it. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Yeah. Although I think if the, the screen were smaller, I probably would have the resolution set lower. So the text would probably almost look a little bit bigger. Bigger. Uh, remember this playing a while back. Yeah, it is a cool game. Um, it has its issues, uh, artillery being one of them. Um, and I'm forgetting the other main kind of gripe I have, but for the most part, it's a fun game. They definitely nailed the actual feeling of being in a building sized battle mech. So they, they nailed the atmosphere and the feel. It's awesome. Oh, the ray tracing, the ray tracing or, uh, implementation of this game was terrible. So I just never bothered enabling it. I think my frames per second, I want to say literally go from like in the 150s down to like 12. <laughs> it's it's abysmal. It is, it is a absolutely putrid ray tracing implementation. How they shipped it with that, I have no idea. I don't know why anybody never fixed that. You, you, I can't imagine it would be all that difficult. I think the devs just ticked in uh, Unreal Engine the RTX module for it and just called it a day. I don't think they even looked at it. But yeah, this, this game is fun. And especially, I, I've always been a huge fan of the Battletech and MechWarrior universe. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything of particular interest here. Come on, give me an urban mech. Ugh. All right, so how are we doing on our Warhammer? All right, now our Warhammer is only 24 days away from being active. Okay. Now we're going to have our Warhammer. I think we've wasted enough time. Let's cruise to Ovan and let's deal with this assassination mission. Let's make some PC bills. Our Warhammer's repaired. We are good to go. Right? How can you not like the robotics? But yeah, um, generally speaking, they did way more good with this game than they missed. Um, and with ray tracing, like I said, you just toggle that off. So it's like, it would have been nice for the better visuals, but it, that's not a need. Um, and yeah, the only other thing is, is artillery. Artillery is not, unfortunately not well implemented, uh, in this game. Unfortunately, we don't have to deal with artillery on every mission type. And so we only have to deal with that occasionally. That's also why I tend to avoid beachhead missions because I don't even want to deal with the artillery in this game. All right, let's take a look at the equipment just to make sure there's nothing worth getting. And there isn't. Let's take a look. There we go. There's our urban mech. We were looking for that. We can afford it. Let's do it. We'll purchase this POS urban mech. Let's cash in our job rewards. Yep. We got ourselves uh, three tier three machine guns. Sweet. But we also are going to make... So essentially, we're only having to pay half cost for this urban mech and we're going to get some good career reputation and we'll be able to upgrade mech flector and we're now two thirds of the way to ranking up mech collector so not bad uh you guys have to deal with wisdom i have had my so my <laughs> seraph's wisdom tooth experience before i get into this mission um my top two wisdom teeth came in perfectly fine they were healthy they were good orientation was good everything was good Except Seraph's lower jaw never had a corresponding set of wisdom teeth for the bottom. For some reason, I only had two wisdom teeth on the top. So once they grew in, perfectly good, mind you. <laughs> they started pummeling my gums on the bottom whenever I would chew anything. And so I finally got to a point of like, this isn't, this is never going to like correct itself. I'm always going to be biting myself with these wisdom teeth. So unfortunately I had to go in and get my, my extra molars, uh, removed, uh, wisdom teeth. Uh, and that was fun because my dentist gave me the, uh, numbing injection for it. And, uh, oh, your wisdom teeth are still growing. Fun, fun. I mean, so if I had, if I had, all, if I had all four sets of wisdom teeth, I think I would have been fine. I think I would have been fine, but I only had two and my silly dentist, I didn't have the greatest dentist, which this was the last, this was, this experience was when Seraph realized, huh, I may not have the best dentist. 
So he numbs me at the uh, he numbs the area of uh, both of them, and he starts to extract it. And at that moment, I have a realization: my dentist did not use sufficient numbing agent. There was not nearly enough Novocaine for that extraction. I felt everything he was doing. It felt like he was taking a piece of my skull and pulling it out of me. And at that point, I'm like, and he's like, well, do you want me to wait and give you more and more Novocaine? And I'm like, you're already started. I mean, at this point, just keep going. <laughs> just keep going. And so, yeah, I basically got my wisdom teeth extracted without, uh, without Novocaine. Um, so that was... That was great. That was that was not fun at all in any way, shape, or form. So I would suggest that if you uh, if you have any issues with numbing agents, medication, any resistances, uh, definitely let your dentist know. I, I never really took medication or anything. That was the first time I found out that my body has a pseudo resistance to uh, to a lot of pain meds, which is super awesome. The fact they didn't give you enough means you have to experience a little pain. <laughs> experience no pain. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. And so that actually came up recently when my neck exploded, which is a story of a... It's its own tour story, um, for anybody that doesn't know. I had one of my uh, discs recently at the end of last year uh, rupture and disintegrate. And so that wasn't great. And uh, yeah, so I didn't even bother when I went to the ER telling them uh, to... Happened to me once where they put the numbing stuff on the wrong side of my mouth and I felt the entire filling pro drilling into teeth and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's awful. It's awful. Drilling into teeth feels oofy. It's, 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 yeah, it, it is the goofiest, strangest feeling. I mean, it hurts, but yeah, there's nothing that describes. It's just such an odd feeling. And uh, I've had dreams where I've relived that tooth extraction because it itself was kind of traumatic. And more so than the pain, the fact that it felt strange was the worst part, believe it or not. And so while this ad plays, I'm going to get uh, finally started here. Um, but yeah, let's let's get this let's get this party started here. Let's go to contracts, uh, and then I'll get into Seraph's uh, uh, neck issue and paralysis. Uh, yep, perfect. We're good here. All right, so let's figure out. I think I salvage shares. Do I want to take salvage shares or do I just want pure money? Do I want pure money? I could make three million C bills out of this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go maximum C bills here. Perfect. We're looking good. Let's ready up. Yeah, we'll wait four days. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Ad blocker moment. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna put it over there. So it seems that despite your previous raid on the settlement, the people have only grown more resolute. A citizen has risen Imagine that. to lead his people in rebellion. Josh Voisyth, the hero of the Capelan commoners. He's rather brave, I'll give him that. But Duchess So has put a large bounty on his head. So let's ramp up here. And so, uh, so yeah, as far as um, pain issues, uh, at the end of last year, like I would say October. Be advised, Commander. One of the items of interest we're after may be found in this location. Let's Try go. searching in the spot designated on your map. Let's, first. let's deal with uh tank here. Oh, they may have destroyed that tank. Perfect. Good. Good job. Target acquired. I got it. Good job. Destroy. You didn't get the tank. Target I did. <laughs> I got the tank. Okay. Let's head up here. Oh, we got a bunch of turrets over there. Yeah, fuck that shit. Let's just go this way. Oh, fuck six. Fine. Let's go deal with this. Perfect Target shot. Good. Let's deal with this turret at long range. Oh, fuck. That's a problem. Come on. Go. Oh. 
We got an asshole behind us. Deal with that. Okay. Bear with me a second. <laughs> While I deal with a grasshopper here. PPC bolt time. Boom. Nothing like hitting a mech with bolts of lightning. Okay, I can't hit it. Oh, there we go. This thing's going to die now. There we go. We got it. Good job, Freeman. Okay, now let's get our thing here. Uh, our cash. Okay, now we're going to go up and get that little circle thing up in the northwest part of this map. Now that we had to do that fight. All in all, though, we handled that pretty well. Not, I was kind of hoping to avoid that fight until after getting this, but so it goes. So, yeah, uh, I think I mentioned this earlier, but uh, but yeah, it's, uh, since it came up, and I think this was before uh, you kind of joined the channel, Neuter, but uh, yeah, last year around uh, October, um, uh, you know how your spine has vertebrae, and then in between the vertebrae spacers, you've got, uh, you've got various, um, you know, discs? Well... I had my, uh, one of the ones in my neck basically rupture and, uh, completely disintegrate on me. And, uh, so my fifth cervical vertebrae started pinching, uh, the nerve that controlled my right arm, uh, because it runs out between five and six. So that was fun. And by fun, I mean, oh my god, uh, that was terrible. Sorry, Serum. We had to take out that SRM carrier. <laughs> Those things, are, by the way, are terrifying. Like, I know we're joking, but those things are terrifying in this game. They could do so much damage to you. It's absurd. That. Take that out with our PPCs. Good. Fine. Eh. All right. No, thank you. <laughs> all right, we got these chuckleheads here. Oh, we all went after the same one. Damn. I'm going to be able to hit it from there. Okay, we got all those. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the Warhammer is not great at aerial fighters. <laughs> a SRAM. <laughs> those, seriously, those tanks, they are so dangerous. Let's move this up just a little bit. They do so much damage. You an absolutely obscene amount of damage. So yeah, they tend to be higher priority targets. Oh, we got a tank platform. Thank you. Ready to salvage. Alright, we are in business here. Now let's lumber on. Every time our SRM is taken down, a little piece... <laughs> no! <laughs> that was actually a nice shot, Seraph. There we go. Something shot at me from over here. I think. I think what we're better off doing. Nice center torso shot. Oh, that's what we actually need to take out. The Orion. Oh, crap. Out of my way, Mac. Ugh. This damn Mac. Crap, crap, they blew up my arm. Damn it! It's amazing how often they do that. Alright, let's get the hell out of here now that we've taken a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh well. Come on, let's get out of here before I core myself. 
Jeez, man. Well, that was not how I wanted to do that. Continue to take way too many dam way too much damage in these missions. Damn it. I ended up rocket working down. Come on. Come on. Oh. Pete's sake. Nice job, Seraph. I got an idea. How about you demonstrate how not to play this game? Oh, tank, thank you. Man, that way took way too much damage there. So yes, I have. Turns out I actually have played uh, about an hour's worth of Warframe. I wanted to get into it because yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of like gigantic robots uh, and that kind of play style. I just haven't gotten around to it. Well, at least we made money on that. Uh, yeah, we'll take a tier three weapon. And, uh, actually, let's, let's take this tier three medium laser and we'll take that tier one, tier two medium laser. Man, that's such a bummer. Can't believe they did so much damage to me again. We still made money because we made the better part of three million sea bills, but still, that's just very, very annoying. Um, that's my only gripe with the Warhammer. It it loses an arm so easily. <laughs> but at least we were able to take out that Orion uh, and just get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, what I wanted to do was defeat in detail instead of running right into all of that. Uh, one hour, he's a pro. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, I, I dabbled and then I, I guess I just never got into it. I think what the, the issue was when I started playing it, it was obviously way before I ever started streaming and I quickly realized that it's it's a game where you really just kind of need to play with friends um so yeah i just got to reinstall it and relearn how to how the controls work and all that but yeah at some point it'd be fun to do a little bit a little bit of warframe uh i've watched uh Sarum play play it a ton um and it looks fun okay so we're done here oh <sighs> good grief so we've got what is Earth is going on here. It's out of range. I'm guessing uh, that's Crimson Crusade that's come up there finally. But not a big deal. Okay, so we've got... Got a high reward quest there for the Cerberus Hounds. Let's let's head back to the industrial hub and let's repair again. Oh, Seraph. If only I didn't suck so much at this game. <laughs> Guess he just started crafting Jade. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a. I, I, so I know. I'm, I know enough to be dangerous about Warframe. I'm guessing that's a Warframe reference. But yeah, it definitely looks fun. Wow, there's a medium pulse laser for sale. Seriously, and that's a good price for medium pulse laser. Yeah, we will buy that. That is valuable. We will take that. And so. Um, you know what, I'll take that tier 6 SRM-6, too. Because SRM weapons are nice. We like them. Okay, I will buy one of those just in case we get a... Uh, you know, I'll buy one of those, too. They're cheap, and every so often the Cantina tries to buy them. So, Artemis is a fire control system. I don't think... Hmm, newest character of the game as of now. Ah, gotcha. Um... And so uh, Artemis is a um, is basically a targeting computer, and it can be a modification of both SRM or short range missiles or LRMs. And in my opinion, it's just not worth it, especially for an SRM two, where a lot of the weight of the weapon is going to the control system. My attitude is, if I'm going to get a missile launcher with Artemis, it's either going to be an SRM six or it's going to be an LRM fifteen or an LRM twenty. Anything lower than that, and I'm not wasting the tonnage on on the Artemis. I, it's just it's just not enough bang for the buck. The spread at that point is already small enough. You're not gaining. And so what Artemis does is instead of like, so for example, you might have six missiles coming at you at like this distance. Well, with Artemis, the cluster might be that. So more of your missiles are going to be hitting. It's really nice. 
but at the lower tonnages, I don't I don't think that's particularly worth it for me. But that's good or not. Okay, so let's uh I don't see anything particularly useful here. Okay, let's go to the battle mechs. Let's take a look at the Warhammer and let's take a look at the loadout. Okay, so I could repair everything except the PPC. I can't replace it because I don't have one. Um, but everything else I've got a replacement for. So that's not... That's not terrible. It's just not good. Let's take a look at our medium laser situation. here. Uh, let's customize this mech a little bit. <sighs> I could actually upgrade the medium lasers with those small... But those tier 3 small bursts that I just had. We could do that, but I tend to lose a torso a lot. I don't really like the idea of losing any more of these than than I already have. Let's take a look at the market. Let's see if there's just a standard PPC I could just buy. You know what? We'll just buy that. And we'll go in the inventory. Now that blank PPC slot. Yeah, we'll just do that. I think we're fine there. That's not the end of the world. And we'll get my Warhammer repaired thing it always takes such a beating now i think part of it is the warhammer also does so much damage that the enemy ai goes oh that thing we need to destroy that thing and it's it's just it's a damage magnet and it's always been a damage magnet it's actually decently armored but again when you're dealing with that let's take a look at our upgrades oh i've already pretty much upgraded this as much as i can it's just kind of the nature of the warhammer so i tend not to put very many useful things on it. Commander, I'll be in the hangar for yeah, pre-drop checklists. Yeah, there's nothing all that great there. Okay, I think we're good here. I could go back to the cantina, but I'm okay with just... Let's go to New Weston. Let's see what that high reward quest is. We'll get that one, and we'll move on with life. Because we've got a couple of high reward quests. We've got a high reward quest here. We've got a high reward quest of Teng. We've got a high, re for, uh, high reward quest over at Lopez. And we've got one down here with errant signal with egress so we've got a bunch i think we'll go to new weston though my warhammer will be repaired by the time we get there and let's see what's up hopefully seraph can get through a mission without losing an arm on his warhammer wouldn't that just be chipper <laughs> oh man so let's view our transmissions here but I've always had an issue with the Warhammer and losing losing arms on it. Um, and the AI does too. I think it's just the nature of the Warhammer. It's unfortunately not nearly as durable as it needs to be. But it's better than the Wolverine we were piloting. It's certainly heavier and it does a lot of damage with it. We, w we do kill mechs a lot quickly. That Orion can really mess you up. And we took that Orion out in a hurry. So anyway, all Capellan residents are stal stalwart, hardworking, and deeply honored to live under our flag and the protection it provides. That, however, does not mean we are unaware of the unfortunate constraints and shortcomings our nation has been forced to institute. As the centuries of the succession wars have passed, we've seen our territory shrink and our military production slowly erode. One of our military assets is a band of Davian military defectors from the 9th Avalon Hussars, who fled to our territory in 2862, near the end of the Second Succession War. Disagreeing with the self-righteous hypocrisy of the Federated Sons, these defectors helped Chancellor Otto Liao formulate the elastic defense strategy that saved our realm. For the past century and a half, the Cerberus Hounds, as they called themselves, have lived in relative peace in a collection of planets inside Confederation space. As various threats arise, however, the Hounds have been known to answer the call to defend themselves in our great nation. Now it seems their location and disposition have been leaked to Davian forces, who sent strike teams to eliminate the defectors for their ancestors' generations-old betrayal. As capable as these noble Helen warriors are, we cannot let them fall in battle. We request any support available. Safeguard our citizens, and you shall be rewarded. And we're going to get some pretty decent small lasers and a decent large laser for our trouble. So yeah, we will do that. And so we got a defense mission here. And yep, let's do it. Let's go defend these. Let's go defend these guys. Uh, do we just want sea bills here? Mm. Yeah, we'll go with the two million and we'll go with a few extra salvage shares. Let's let's hope for the best. My Warhammer is still being worked on and will take eight days. Well, that's okay. They will wait the eight days to attack these people, so we're okay with that. <laughs> My poor Warhammer. It always takes such a beating. <laughs> but so it goes. Walk on up 
to the treasure to pick oh, it up. Well, that was convenient. All right. Random. I'm dropping you into a region that's set to be targeted by the first Kittery borderers. They're expected to conduct a raid on Kaplan territory on orders from House Davion. Looks like they're not too happy about the Cerberus Hound's existence. Get ready to gear up and fend off the incoming attack. Brilliant. Payload acquired. Ooh. Large pulse laser. That's awesome. That's lost tech. <laughs> hey, ghosty. Yeah, pro tip. Get gooder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've had a I've had a little bit of a rough outing so far, but that's okay. Not a moment too soon. See, oh, there they come. Oh no. Nope, those are windmills. enemies on the approach, so be on guard. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. Yep, here they come. Requested target ID received. Engaging. Go after that. Enemy forces closing in. And they're already trying to destroy us here. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden uh, object to pick it up. All right, fine. Yes. Oh, let it too much. Ah, now it's going to be behind a hill. You guys are dealing with that. Ah, I went for the headshot. Didn't make it, but... You get out of the way. Fine. Deal with the tank. Setting an intercept course on your position. That mech is on our kill list. Good. You know what to do. Uh, okay. Crap. Targets are safe. Engaging. Okay, you guys deal with that. I'll try and deal with the VTOLs. This is where having a human player to like help me would make all the difference in the world. There we go. Nice shot, Seraph. Ah, I missed it. Let's line up for another shot. I don't need to be dealing with that. Yep, that's out of range. Come on, come on. Ooh, we got that. I'm going to have to deal with whatever that is. Javelin. All right. Well... Showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Got it. Crap. Man, we got mechs all over the place. And we're totally out of position. The housing structures have been destroyed. You guys did register my order, right? I think they registered my order. Good, I managed to at least land a shot at its arm. So the PPCs are awesome, but they generate so much heat. Oh, nailed its leg. Alright, well. Yeah, that hurt. Definitely take out that rifleman with extreme prejudice. Ah, I missed it. Nice job, Seraph. Ho ho ho, yeah, there we go. Light this light him up. Come on, we got him. Where is this guy? You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got him. Focus 
Last target received, Commander. Good job. Okay. Oh, we got more over there. All right, well, let's deal with the three that are over here. These are light. Oof. Oh, that's Newt, not Newt. <laughs> they must come out at night, mostly. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second to catch back up with chat. Obviously, that was a little, uh, that was a little bonkers. There we go. That was worth it. Right, I keep forgetting I have SRMs on my own. That one, that's the last one. All right, not too bad. All right, you guys, let's go this way. Ah, I shot right over it. Ah, come on, emerge right there. Boom, direct hit. Oh, it's going to go into the freaking city, isn't it? Good job. Oh, you lost an arm, didn't you? Yeah, you did. As soon as it emerged out of the city, it was dead. All right, not too shabby there. Did a much better job that time. But yeah, I would imagine having human human players where I could be like, where you could actually coordinate. Of like, all right, let's set up shop on each side of the city and help defend it. Whereas the AI opponents, they, they leave a little to be desired, unfortunately. Let's see. Um, yes, only because I go through PPCs like it's going out of style. So I will collect a PPC, that way I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, look at this shit, right? I do a thousand damage, which is double the amount he did. Oh, he got injured, shit. Um, ah, oh yeah, he lost a torso. Damn, got half a torso blown off. All right, well, what can you do? Um, but yeah, I also, I get nine kills, they get like a fraction. It's like, this just kind of goes with the territory. The AI is just, it's kind of like alien fire team. Where you're dealing with alpha and beta, they're just they're just not very good. <laughs> Although they are, they're at least decent. They're not complete wastes, but yeah, they don't draw fire away from you nearly as much as they should. Um, I, I I imagine human players would be way 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 better than the AI. Uh, if I was in your game, I would just stick a jetpack on my mech and spend the whole time trying to get to the highest point possible. Valid strategies. There are a bunch of uh, mechs that have some good jump uh, jump jet capability actually. The Wolverine, for example, is decent with that. And it's got an, uh, an AC-5, which makes for a pretty decent sniper weapon. So I think we have very similar ways we, we play. So my favorite mech in this game is the Highlander. It is a 90-ton assault mech. And depending on the variant, like the 732B has a gauze rifle in it. So you can use jump jets, get to the highest point, and you could just snipe stuff and use LRMs all day long. It's amazing for that. Oh, we got javelins. All right, so we got an AC-2. AC-2 is also a decent long-range weapon. Its range is like 828, so it's just, which is pretty good. Uh, that's going to pretty much outrange any all of my uh, detection, um, all of my sensors anyway. 
Although when it comes to ballistics, if you know what you're doing, you can outshoot even the maximum range because you just aim a little higher and then the, uh, the arc will just land right back on it. And so you have protected our loyal citizens thus far, but the fight against our great enemy is far from over. The Davianists will not stop until they are either victorious or utterly destroyed. See to it that you ensure the latter, not the former. Continue to aid us in the fight against our oppressors, and you shall be rewarded. While you held off the first Kittery Borderers' initial assault, the Cerberus Hounds have evacuated most of their non-combatants and will be sending you your reserves shortly. In the meantime, it is recommended that you lure the Davian troops into the Badlands and hold them there as long as possible. You will be provided with maps that should enable you to play an effective game of cat and mouse in order to buy you the time needed for the relief forces to arrive. And so these will be our rewards for that. And so let's repair. Okay, not nearly as bad. Yeah, we're just repairing armor at that point. This one's going to be bad. Nice job, Freeman. Oh, and you lost a streak SRM too. Yeah, that's a problem. All right, so let's let's remove the streak SRM ammo at this point. We uh, we don't need to worry about streak SRM ammo at this point any any longer. Let's just put two. We'll put these in here. SRM two, and we'll put in this SRM two. That works. Oh, you lost the anti missile system. That was actually good. Oh, right, because you lost that. Because you lost it. Oh. Right, so anti-missile system. Wait, do I have anti-missile system ammo? Oh, I don't have anti-missile system ammo. That is a problem. That is a real problem. Uh, crap. Crap sticks. Um, what am I going to do about that? Hmm. What is Seraph going to do about that? All right, that I'm not too worried about. But what am I going to do about the anti-missile anti system ammo? Uh, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, all right, so you know what? Instead of SRM2, let's go with... Uh... No, no, I have to go with the SRM2s. Fine, we'll go with the SRM2s since I have them. Uh, SRM ammo and SRM ammo. But I need anti-missile system ammo. And that's hard to find. So nice job, Freeman. You have uh, crippled this... Uh, you have crippled this mech, dude. Damn it, Freeman. Damn it. All right. I'm going to have to keep an eye open for anti-missile system ammo. For now, we'll go without. Yeah, it's going it, to... Like, equipped at weapons have no ammo. Yeah, I know. The anti-missile system has no ammo. In that case, there's not even a point to have the anti-missile system in there, uh, which is kind of a niche piece of equipment anyway. Essentially, when uh, LRMs are lobbed at you, or SRMs for that matter... The anti-missile system is a little point defense machine gun that can shoot the missiles down. In tabletop, I didn't think it was all that worth it. But in this game, the anti-missile system actually does a fairly decent job of reducing damage from incoming missile fire. Although not enough, obviously. Crap, I only had one piece of anti-missile system ammo. That really sucks. What am I going to do about this mech? I don't even have half ammo for it. <sighs> you know what? We'll just we'll just go with this. It'll be under tonnage. It just won't have an anti-missile system slot. It's okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh my god, it's gonna be 70 days till this thing's done. Okay, cancel that. We're I'm not. I am not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We've got a vindicator for now. We'll be okay. I'll repair the trebuchet when we get back into, uh, when we get back to an industrial hub. For now, let's go here. Let's finish this. We'll stick Freeman in a Vindicator for now. That's why we have backup mechs. And then once we're done here, we can go to an industrial hub and we can see what we can do with our, uh, with our poor trebuchet here. So that was an unfortunate setback. So it goes. So it goes. But how's everybody doing? <laughs> Good to see you, Ghosty. It was fun to catch up on uh, on stream the other day. We have to kill three Panther mechs. Let's see. Do you by any chance have anti-missile system ammo? Man, that's a lot of... <laughs> wow, that's a lot of uh, melee stuff here. I don't know about that. 
two tons for salt knuckles. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a pretty nice machine gun. Especially for the price. Sure. Hell, I might even buy the Adesser M2 just in case I lose a couple of more of them. Only because I have a trebuchet with it. No anti-missile system ammo, huh? Well, alright. What can you do? Uh, you know what? Don't have any of that. Okay. I at least want to make sure I have the ammo types. Got tons of light rifle ammo. You know what? We'll get an even number of that. Just in case I get a medium chemical laser to actually use. Let's buy the machine gun half ammo. That's nice to have. We've got tons of that. We'll buy an SRM half ammo, sure. That was decent. We might actually want to sell. What do we have an excessive amount of that I don't really need? Definitely not selling that gauze. For sure. Got tons of LRM 10s. Sure. Sell one of those. I don't have any normal medium lasers. That's actually kind of a surprise. But sure, let's go down to 20 on that. We don't need all of those. We'll keep those in case. We have an opportunity to sell them. See anything egregious here? Get down to a 30 on that. Don't think I need that many heat sinks. Alright. Make some of that money back buying the things we actually want. Okay. I think we're good here. Let's do this. All right, we got a war zone. Actually, we got a oh, we got a targeted kill. We could do, but I think we're okay with just doing this. Let's make this happen. Yeah, I'm okay with just going max C bill payout here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go a little extra salvage. That worked. That worked out for us last time. The nasty weather means your visibility right. will be... You are not going in with that. ...and have adverse effects on your sensors. That's really the same. We'll go in with you. Got our recovered Vindicator here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, not you. Let's see. Captain Tatum is the best of our others. So we'll go with Captain Tatum here. All right, perfect. And we have no other remaining downtime. Attention. Prepare for battle departure. I do like the Warhammer's cockpit. Hangar doors open. Stand clear. Yeah, look how small the other mechs even look from here. Reactor. <laughs> Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Defense of Capilan territory seems to have saved a lot of lives, and countless more civilians are being evacuated by the Cerberus hounds to neighboring planets. We'll need to keep Kittery forces away from the evacuation sites in order to ensure they all get away cleanly. That means it's time to put your neck on the line. Your job is to stay to diversion and hold off the forces for as long as you can. The Capulans have provided us maps of these badlands, outlining where you should start. Good luck. This trebuchet. This thing's going to be putting out a whole lot of fire on us. That's, not, that's enough out of you. <laughs> All right, fortunately, we have allies this time, so that's nice. Destroy. 
Let's see how well our allies actually help out here. Reach a checkpoint. Come on, register the checkpoint. Now I'm going to have to go in further for it. I don't remember this soundtrack. This is awesome. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Good, we don't have to actually defend any of this shit. So we don't have to worry about damaging it. But we do have turrets over here. So it's nice to have friendly turrets. Nice shot, Seraph. Oh, here they come. They're coming in that way. Come on. Boom. They got to it before I did. All right, guys, let's do this. Go help out our allied mechs here. Unfortunately, you kind of have to hold the AI's hand and tell it to uh, actually go after mechs. Otherwise, it won't. Oh, it went turned around. Oh, it's going to come around through this way in a second, isn't it? Let's see if I can ambush it. Oh, right in the back. <laughs> oh, that was awesome! <laughs> yeah, normally I don't fire PPCs at point, point blank range like that, but because of, uh, I mean, it just was right there. Like, you know what? I I will take I will take the heat on that. Oh. Same thing here. Oh ho ho ho! That was nice. We got a couple of. Uh, Next coming in. Good, nice shot, Seraph. Yeah, that was okay. Good, you could, Vindicator got it. Wait, where was that Hunchback? No, I was wrong. Go after the Hunchback. Forget this thing. I'll deal with this thing. You guys deal with that hunchback. How bad is it damaged? All right, it's a medium laser variant one. Although that's not terrible, just four medium lasers. But still, that could hurt you if it hits in the same location. Take that. Got a couple of tanks coming in. Let's deal with that. This is where it would be nice to have jump jets, because I could just jump, shoot over the hill, and be done with it. Wow, still hadn't killed that tank? Jeez. Yeah, we got a bunch. We got four more, though. We got this, guys. Ho, 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 ho. I just wrecked that thing. All right, that, that mech's destroyed. Oh, and there's the dropship for the latest bound of... You go deal with that. Right now. We should have two mechs coming in this way. That should be the last. Yep. Perfect. Looking good. Meanwhile, okay, good. I'm already cooled off. You must be shooting at the Leos. Yeah, 
yeah, if I shot at it, I would miss. Now your paltry risk. Let's get the hell out of here. We've taken enough damage. Let's just let's just bolt. Let's get the hell out of dodge. That Wolverine took a beating. Hopefully that pilot's okay. Yeah, we could stick around and earn more money, but my attitude is our mechs just aren't quite good enough to uh, handle that. I mean, we could just try and shoot at long range and see what happens, but yeah. uh, we've done enough. All right. I've gotten word from Liao Command that the majority of the evacuations have been completed. I'm seeing more forces on the horizon, so you can stick around to try and earn nope. some bonus pay, or you can evac. Up to you, boss. We're evacing. Let's get the hell out of here. Not bad. Making money and making fame. Yeah. Wow, we were actually one shy of a locust. That would have been nice. That would have been really nice. Let's see, I'll take a large laser. We'll take another medium laser. Take another one of those. And sure, we'll take an AC-10. I don't think there's anything else particularly of interest. Nope, good. It's good salvage. All right, good. Am I defense? leveled up a little bit. Okay. I don't see anything. Yeah, you just took a lot of damage, but it doesn't look like you had any component loss. Good. But yeah, I mean, I do 13 kills and the rest of my team has two. I have 13. The rest of my team has two. And granted, I've got a better mech than they do, but still, that's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. So yes, thank you. But we got another panther, so that part was nice. Now the next up, yeah, we're not we're not doing. I think that's Crimson Crusade that it wants to give us now. I think I'm quite content to start drifting down to do errant signal. Uh, although we could we could do Tang here too. Frontline invasion. We could do frontline. We could help out along the uh, the war zone border here. Or we could do error and signal and work our way up. <sighs> either way, we need to go... Either way, we, we need to repair that trebuchet. Let's head back to this industrial hub. Let's re-equip re here. Not terrible, but not great. But at least we only needed to do that one, one mech here, a hunchback. So let's take a look. Medium pulse laser and a gauze. That's actually pretty decent. It <laughs> actually is a pretty decent hero mech. Uh, I don't like the idea of tossing in a piece of lost tech technology into a mech that would probably be given to an AI at this stage of the game. But that is a that is a nice hunchback. Uh, you know what I could do is get that, put an AC twenty in it, and let um. Let's take a look. I think the mechs I have... I mean, we've got a Vindicator that's almost that weight as it is. So let's go... Anti-missile. No. Now we're going to be on the hunt for anti-missile... Uh, <laughs> for anti-missile uh, ammo here. It's going to be a while until I find it, probably. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm inclined to buy that tier two PPC, but not for the tune of a half a million C bills. That's still, I mean, we've got a nest egg of 20 million, but um, that's still a little rich for my blood. Uh, yeah, that's the only issue with the mech market. I don't want to be spending half my money on a mech that really isn't appreciably better than anything else I've got. That is a decent hero mech, though. That is indeed a decent hero mech. Bigger, faster, stronger. I mean, the, the paint scheme on it looks awesome. 
But unfortunately, I just don't have enough money to be pissing away on uh, on these types of uh, uh, on a mech like this that is not is not demonstrably better. So you know what? I'm, even though this is nice, I'm gonna pass on it. Now, if this were the Hero Hunchback that had six medium lasers, yeah, that thing is a mech killer. Uh, that thing just wreaks absolute havoc. But I mean, for the difference, I could get this Hunchback that has an AC-20 in it. And, uh, and whatnot. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think we're going to pass on that. I think we're going to pass on that. Okay. So let's, let's repair you. Okay, you're not bad, thankfully. Repair structure, yeah. But not, you weren't as badly damaged as I thought. Same with you. You weren't all that badly damaged. Let's go to the loadout and let's see what we, yeah, now let's see what we do with you. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the, AMS ammo. Let's get rid of the streak SRM. Get rid of this medium laser. And um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll just. Oh, it's a small missile slot. It's room four. Uh. Could just put SRM fours in there. You know what? Let's just do that for now. We'll put the best medium laser we could just put in there, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. And we'll do SRM ammo. And we'll do SRM half ammo. Just to help offset the ammunition in here. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just going to be how it goes. Um, at least it'll do technically more damage. Even though it doesn't have that rare streak SRM. And that's okay. I'll, I'll keep this streak SRM for later. Because there is a mech that will have streak SRM 2s in it. And that'll be nice to have for that. I also don't think the AI uses the Beagle Active Probe. Which would be nice. It essentially allows you to get enhanced sensor range out of it. Uh, but you do have to actually use it. And it can counteract enemy ECM. But that's not something that's in abundance in this game. No, that's okay. All right, that will do. And now we only have to worry about it for 35 days instead of 70. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. Okay, that was worth it to wait till coming to coming back here. Uh, do I go to Beetlejuice for the Cantina or all right, we got Errant Signal that's down here, or we could stop on at Raphael for the Cantina. You know what? Let's or Nihal. Yeah, let's just go to Nahal here. We'll see what the cantina is, and then we'll go down. And we'll take a look at whatever this uh, errant signal thing is. And then we'll work our way back up to uh, invasion defense. I like this. Let's save. Shame about the hero mech, but that's... Right. Nahal. Let's look. Time to switch to water. Yeah, I love mechs with jump jets, though. I, I really, really, I really enjoy mechs with jump jets. Kill three javelin mechs again. And we'll get SRM-2 and Artemis. Wow, what a waste. What a waste. But they do like to throw javelins at us, so sure. Kill 50 ground units. We'll get a couple of medium rifles and 2 million C-bills. Sure, we'll get that. You know what? Sure, we'll do that, too. That's kind of a shitty cantina, but whatever. Yeah, we'll buy. We'll buy heavy rifles just to have them. Nothing else here of crucible. Yeah, I think we're okay. Maybe we'll buy one of these just to have it. In case the cantina wants us to have a whole bunch of them. Usually they're not going to ask us for more than like one of each or something. I think we're all right there. We're, we're good. Errant signal time. Let's do it. Let's find out what the story is with this. Oh, Herodotus discovered. Herodotus was big in the Harebrained Schemes turn-based Battletech game. It's a periphery uh, resort world. <laughs> kind of like 
Uh, oh, we got a cantina here, too. Sweet. We'll, we'll definitely take a look at the cantina. Kill three fire starters. Kill three spiders. Ooh, collect uh, LRM. One LRM tier two. Well, I think we should be able to do that. So let's do that. And then what do we see more of? Fire starters or... I guess which of the two would be better. I think we see a decent number of both. But I rarely use chemical lasers. So let's... Let's go with this. I think we see more spiders. A few transmissions. All right. One of our communications teams has picked up a weak coded signal coming from a planet that should, in theory, be uninhabited. Our analysts have been unable to decipher the message, but the signal itself is indicative of illegal habitation. The Celestial Wisdom would ask you to investigate this planet on behalf of the Confederation and deal with any interlopers you encounter. You are authorized to use lethal force if necessary. Report back to us when the job is done, and you will be rewarded accordingly for your efforts. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, and there's a black market here, too, huh? Chemical lasers. Yeah, usually when you get deal with the black market, you see a bunch of, like, chemical lasers, rifles, a lot of low-tech things. But you also get a pretty good mix of... Wow, I don't have any jump jet class 4? Really? Kind of a surprise. I also don't have jump jets class 1? That's a big surprise. Huh. Weird. No anti-system. Anti-missile system. That's really what I've been would have been looking for. Okay. Errant signal. Yeah, difficulty's gonna ramp up here. We're uh, we're gonna have a nice little sixty uh, difficulty on that. So oh boy, we're we're in for the shit now, folks. If there are indeed illegal settlers on this planet, the first step to serving the Chancellor's justice is to destroy their means of communication. That will panic their security forces, assuming they have any, which will make them all the easier to uh, contain and destroy. Looks like we're after Davian here. That's sort of unfortunate. But, oh well. Okay. Yeah, let's go with a little increased salvage here. Hopefully we can get a mech or two out of the deal. And uh, at this point... Yeah, the trebuchet's back. We should have Freeman back, too. Yeah, Freeman. We got Freeman back. So, Freeman is technically better. So let's go with Freeman here. Try not to damage your trebuchet again, though, bro. <laughs> can, you, can you do that for me? That'd be great. Um, all right. I think we're in good shape here. Let's do this. We got to destroy a bunch of satellite arrays. Let's do it. The number of times I kick my desk is way too damn high. <laughs> Seems like the squatters are living on this planet illegally. We've received orders to disable their communications by destroying their radio towers. The settlers may be equipped and dangerous, and we've been authorized to use lethal force if need be. All right, our dropship's taken off. Wow, what a lovely crappy planet here. Let's see what we got. Oh. Got some thunderstorms in the distance. Wow, that was random. Turret just activated. Hello, kitty kitty. Hi, cat. Oh, that was such a nice shot. Although they did get a shot on me before I destroyed them. Oh, that's something shooting at us. Okay, we gotta deal with that. Damn it. Damn it. It was worth it to shoot it down, though. 
can't. Well, that was a more interesting uh, skirmish than I had encountered than I had anticipated. Hello, cat. Welcome, cat. Package acquired. All right, so now we'll advance. See if we can destroy these. Uh, man, acquired. these guys are just after me now. Hanging out underneath the hill there. Brilliant. Acquired. I don't see our target over here either. I was hoping that he'd have line of sight and I could just shoot it from here. Okay, that's out of range. Oh well. It was worth it. It's worth it to try. Got a tank over here. We know we do. Great. We're going to spawn a bunch of shit at the same time. I hate it when the two uh, indicators are right next to each other. There's really no good way to... I managed to hit it. Although, probably only with one PPC instead of two. Yep. Certainly kicked up the beehive here. Oh, someone shot that mech. Good. Good job. Oh, nope. No, we didn't. Damn it. Okay, you guys deal with the centurion. Okay. Damn it. Oh my god. See, this is bullshit. There's nothing I could have done because of how it was outlined. We're now outnumbered like, look at this shit. We're so outnumbered. Let's just see if I could deal with the thing. There's that. Let's just, let's just go after the objective. Yep, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I know. Just get out. Oh shit. Right, I forgot this damn desert biome. Come on, hurry up and reboot. Let's get the hell out of here. That mech is on our kill list. You know what to do. Yeah, I know, I know. My kill. Can't freaking shoot anything down because, yeah, we lost Juarez. We got so outnumbered so fast. Take some evasive action here. Hello, cat, I know. I love you too, baby girl. We're just getting a little messed up. Yeah, the second I saw the map, I was like, oh god. They're gonna give us, like, a bunch of things all at once. But yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot we could have done there. Jeez, and they sent us against a hunchback. The hunchback's probably what killed Juarez. Ugh. That sucked so bad. Yeah, that's a case where the mi where the mission itself just kind of fucked us. You can even tell I was trying to have, like trying to just get to one, but then both def both sites' defenses came all at once. So yeah, we spawned an entire mission's worth of mechs and tanks and VTOLs all at once. Yeah, we we just got we, and we just got swarmed. I really tried my best effort to not uh, trigger that. So yeah, we we probably. Ultimately, we, we basically, yeah, we probably broke even on that. It's it's not the end of the world, but that was not great. That was not great at all. All right, we've deciphered part of the coded messages from that illegal st settlement. It's now clear to us that we intercepted the internal communications of a House Davian strike team gearing up to wreak havoc on one of our industrial worlds. The Chancellor has shifted priority of our operation and is redirecting reinforcements to assist in dealing with these deceitful Davian dogs. Hold them for as long as you are able. Every Fred Rat you're, you destroy will earn a combat bonus for your continued service for the Federation. It is what it is. Leo! Hold on a second. Honey, you cannot... Wh where's your tail? Honey! Hi! Hello! Are you trying to unplug my... 
no, you can't, you can't do that. Honey, I love you. You can't, you can't chew that wire. She's literally trying to chew the power cable that connects my power strip to my computer. Ahem. <clears throat> Young lady. Hi. Do I need to get poster board for my desk? I do, don't I? Why are you, why are you doing this? Why? You're adorable. I love you too. You can't chew that. No, sweetheart. I love you. You can't chew that. No. Looking at me like, why won't you let me chew that? <laughs> it's like, because you can't. Go somewhere else, honey. Hi. Are you being a, no. Okay. Give me two seconds. Hi. No, 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 no. Give me two seconds. Hi. Wait, what are you doing, buddy? Hi. No. What are you doing? You're in trouble. How are you getting in trouble? You're getting your hurt. No. No. Okay. Give me one second, folks. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's try this again. <laughs> so unfortunately, that's the second time she's tried to do that, which means now it's not just a fluke. Now it's a uh, pattern with her. That's not great. Yeah, so uh, she decided, I think it was Tuesday, uh, that she was going to come up and she was gonna, just going to like chew the wires back there. And she had never done that before, so I don't know why she suddenly decided to do that now but she's gotten in her head that that's now her toy so i'm gonna have to come up with something i was actually thinking about getting a sheet of poster board 
and just putting it under the desk and hiding the wires behind it. I hadn't wanted to do that because God forbid I ever want to like unplug stuff or move stuff around. Now it's so much more difficult for me to get into it. But now that she has done that twice, uh, I'm going, I am forced to accept that I'm going to have to make that cat proof. So that's unfortunate. But that's all right. She's, she's adorable. <laughs> she is my cat. Okay. So I think I've given her what she wanted. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to have to worry about that. Yeah, that, that Centurion got jacked up. And of course, the arm that I wouldn't have minded it losing, it has. And it lost its autocannon arm. That's, that's just fucking delightful. Man, we got, we got really messed up there. All right, so let's, uh, let's repair, we'll repair the Warhammer, we'll repair this, we'll repair that, and we're just going to bring this down and we'll just substitute it out with a, with another Vindicator. Um, I don't know, let's go in with a, with that Black Inferno Vindicator, at least it looks cool. Uh, all right, so we're, we're okay. Let's, we've dealt with that. We just now need to go to Repulse and we have a Warzone contract to do. So let's go to Repulse and let's do it. That was a very strange sound. Sorry, while it was loading, it sounded like there was an explosion outside. Granted, somewhat distant, but still. But I did have my headphones on, so who knows? Who knows what the hell I heard? I didn't hear anything after that. Let's see. Oh, uh, we've got some news here. 3020, uh, 3019. Theft of Banshee Battle Mech spurs grievance with the uh, Old Crow's Mercenary Company. <laughs> Honestly, the Banshee sucks. It's a 95-ton mech, so it's valuable. But other than that, it's 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 garbage. That, that mech is trash. Uh, so we need to collect one LRM 20 tier 2, huh? All right, so let's see if we can find an LRM. No, okay. Ooh. Those we'll buy. Those we will buy. I don't know if I'm going to spend that much on SRM 4s, but uh, yeah, they small lasers. Yes, because when we do go back to refit the Warhammer, I'm going to put those small lasers on it. It's going to be amazing. Okay, war zone time. Let's do this. We're making about 2 million sea bills here. Yeah, let's go with a little extra salvage and try and pick up a mech out of this. Okay, yeah, no, where that centurion's not going. Uh. I had a 50-50 chance at that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Captain Juarez is injured. And of the remainder... Yeah, Tatum's a little better than Lieutenant Dickens. So we'll go with Tatum here. We got this. Okay. <clears throat> and hopefully this is the end of the errant signal quest line. Attention. Prepare for War zones aren't too terrible. And if we destroy our mechs fast enough, we can hang around and earn a little extra money. But yeah, usually it's really... Oh. Oh no. Oh, is this the... Oh, this is the... Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I remember this mission now. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Yep, we're we're getting the fuck out of here the second they let us. Uh, cause yeah, after we accomplish the mission, if this is what I think it is, this is gonna be terrible. Okay. Yep, here they come. <clears throat> yeah, if I had if I had remembered properly, I would have done a uh, a uh, artillery strike, and we would I would be setting it right there. 
Unable, Commander. Sorry. You motherfuckers, fine. Share target identified. I took way too much damage in that, though. Frickin' Rifleman, man. That sucked. Alright, we gotta destroy 17 of these things? Ugh. Fuck. Yep, this, this is gonna just suck. This is just a gigantic shit sandwich. This sucks balls, man. Hopefully my crew can handle the other, the Kataro, because that Kataro could do so much damage. Damn it! Ow! Come on! This Warhammer just can't take fucking damage to save its life. Went for the headshot there. the headshot again. Damn, I'm gonna keep missing it. There we go. Oh, come on. Damn this Kentaro. Alright, let's let's just switch because, yeah, that that Warhammer got its ass kicked and I'm gonna die if I stay in it. Yeah, that Warhammer's probably getting cored. There's not a whole lot I could do about it at this point. I took just too much damage from that Rifleman. I didn't kill it fast enough. Sucks. Damn. Seriously? All right, what's next here? Well, we're halfway there. Question is where? I don't see any aerial units up there. They are. <sighs> yeah, this is just rough. This mission just ends up... This mission's always a little rough. I didn't remember what it was until we dropped, though. But yeah, this would have been a good mission to bring airstrike support on, just to try to survive it. Because they send so... They send so many battle mechs after you. Target received, engaging. Yeah, these are these are bad mechs, man. These are bad, bad. These are bad, bad mechs. Warhammer is a problem. Come on, why can't I move? Fuck. Damn it, I'm stuck. Ugh. And I'm overheating. All right, let's try and deal with the Warhammer. Let's, let's do a circle here, Jesus. Wish I had my Ultra Auto Cannon 5 for moments like this. Overheating. Okay, finally, we got that one. Oof. Come on. We got it. Damn. Fucking catapult. 
God, they sent two catapults after us. Man, so we were just getting our ass kicked by both of these fuckers. Don't, don't let you, don't let that fucker get away with it. No. Oh my god. Shit. I cannot believe what's happening here. Man, I cannot believe... It must have gotten a headshot on me or some bullshit. Yeah, I thought so. Let's, let's at least make you think about it. Let's, uh... Here. That PPC needs to be one. Medium laser needs to be two. Small laser needs to be that. Okay, better. What? Oh, I didn't save it, did I? Nope, didn't save it. Okay, medium laser, small laser, apply. Going for? You bastard. Hey guys, you come in an interesting time. We are, uh, I'm probably having the worst match I've ever had. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's great. Greetings, welcome Raiders. Oh, uh, actually, that's a, that's a Phoenix nade. Hey, how are you? How are you, dude? Thank you for the, uh, subscription. I appreciate it. Sorry, I thought it was a raid for a second. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're not having a good time here. I've lost half my lance here. And we haven't even fought the worst part of this. It's not the same audio alert. It was just, you, you came at a time where I was a little, uh, trying to manage a lot going on. Come on, man. Damn it. Jeez. Yeah, we're, we're just, we're having a hard time here. Um, it is what it is. This is one of the worst missions in the actual game, though. I remember having so much trouble with this. And I've already lost half my lance. I've actually thought about restarting, but I don't want to, uh, just do that with everything. Oh my god, we got a fucking AC-20 hunchback at some point to have to deal with. Fuck, man. This sucks so much. Oh, not helpful when you miss... Okay. Oh, we got three hunchbacks. And there's that, probably that Atlas. Uh, so yeah, that was what I was getting into. At some point, an Atlas is going to show up. We're going to have to fight that too. Because, you know, fuck us. That's why. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's Zeus. All right. Yeah, I know. It's bad. This whole mission just sucks. Let's see if I get a headshot in this guy. I'm trying to get the headshot because... Now, yep. I know, Freeman. That's how it goes with this. Yeah, I think we're fucked. I lost too much. I got too damaged early on. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. All right. Let's just try to restart this and hope not to die again. But greetings, Nade. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Uh, <laughs> it's just how it goes sometimes. But yeah, in, um, in a weird sort of way, this is one of the hardest missions to do in the entire game. I didn't realize it until I actually started dropping of how awful it was. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <sighs> yeah, let's try and restart this and try not to die.
Oh my god. This mission. This fucking mission. Oh. All right. Yeah, this one's this one's bad. This one is this one is very bad. That's why I also didn't immediately restart it because even when we were down two mechs, I was like, it, but it's not, it's not going to get any easier. But yeah, this time I need to uh, I need to start crippling mechs faster. But um, it's a war zone, and yeah, they just they just send so much after you, and a lot of it's heavy heavy fucking mechs for this part of the game. You know, I've got one heavy mech and the rest of mine are medium mechs. And so it's it's a lot to deal with. It it really is. Um it really really is. This is one of those cases also where having fucking alpha and beta as your AI lance mates really sucks. I think having a human player to help out with would would make this a lot easier. Um it's just Unfortunately, we don't have that option. They're just going to start dropping and we just we got to we got to kill them faster. So how here's how it goes. I'm actually going to charge, which I could do two. I could do this two ways, right? I could either try to keep in my distance or okay. this this fucker is who needs to die. This time we gotta kill the rifleman faster. Okay. 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 But yeah, we still took so much damage in that. I'm already uh, down a lot of damage on my left leg. Uh, but that was better. That was better. Because that rifleman can hurt us so much. Uh, and did last time. You know, the life, the riflemen's what really, really hurt us. Wait, this way? I don't think so. But yeah, we got this asshole over here. Although I should probably take advantage of the PPCs. And, uh... Fuck, and they're already shooting at us. Let's take a little more damage on that right side. Let's do a little bit of a circle, try and confuse it a little bit. Damn it. Hey, Seraph, why don't you try actually making some of these shots? Damn it. Okay, well, at least I hit it that time. All right, this time I'm going to get behind this Kintaro since they're going after the other one. Come on. Thank you. Okay, now we got this thing. Damn it. I was kind of hoping to do more damage into the back of the Kentaro, but oh well. Ow! Fuck! Okay. okay, we got it. Come on, come on, come on, Seraph, come on! Let's try and take out that scorpion-like tank now, finally. Everybody's still okay? Alright. I also think when I switched, oh, hey, freak bot, they don't know which end the bullets come out. Yeah, no, no, sir, no kidding. Um, but yeah, greetings, uh, freak bot. Yep, it's, this is, welcome to, uh, what in my opinion is one of the worst, uh, missions in this entire game. It's, it's a real challenge. Uh, and it's always, it's always a bit of a challenge just because of a combination of terrain and, uh, less QQ, more pew pew. Uh, less QQ. Okay, the trebuchet's already lost an arm. That's great. That's super great, man. Although we're doing better than we did last time, so that's not completely terrible. All right, you guys go over there. And I will follow behind. Try not to take as much damage this time. Let's do this a little more strategically. Uh, hey, Rob, how are you? Um, well, sort of. I mean, considering the sheer amount of bullshit. Oh, we actually hit it at that distance. Damn, I didn't kill it. Come 
on. Ah, oh, they blew off the damn leg. Yep. It's only a matter of time. That leg in particular. No, go after that. Oh, come on, guys. You gotta freaking pay attention when I tell ya. Shit. Yeah, I know. I know. It's how it goes. Oh, they're going right. They're gonna land right on top of us. Of course they are. All right. Well, it is what it is. But yeah, no, this mission is terrible. Forward meat shields. Well, I tried. They just didn't go. And of course, the problem is we just can't kill them fast enough. Yep, I lost him. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I know. Here it comes. Let's see if I get that head. Come on. But I, oh, I didn't kill it. There goes my arm. All right. Yep, come on. Come on. Switch mechs. Yep. Yeah, that Warhammer is dead in the water. We've got your target, Commander. Okay. Yeah, of course, you're going to shoot at me. You always shoot at me. Yep, can't hit you that distance. <sighs> this is truly awful. That fucking catapult, man. That does so much damage to me. <sighs> but yeah, the meat shields did not go forward like I kind of wanted them to. Yep, the other catapult's shooting at me. But at least now I'm too close to this one. Okay, there we go. That one's dead now. Where's the next one? Target acquired. I can't target that, Commander. Focus the commander's target. Damn it. Not a great shot. Target acquired. Yeah, hit that SRM carrier for sure. Come on. Okay, good. Target. That thing's dead. Oof. Okay, we still have six more of these things to kill, man. And one of them's gonna be an assault mech. Probably a Zeus. But sometimes it comes up as an Atlas, which is not great. Oof. That was hitting me in the head, too. That would have been bad. Alright, let's cool off. Let's kind of go back, recover. But yeah, once this is done, and we're on the other side of this... I don't, I really don't think any other missions are nearly as hard as this one. This is, uh, this is really bananas for the, uh, level that we're coming into. And I also fucked up. I didn't remember what it was. Otherwise, I would have come in with, um, um, airstrike support. Our employer wants this area cleared of all tanks. Let's, let's deal with this. Come on. Damn. Shot that thing down at least. Alright, let's focus on that Zeus if we can. And of course, my freaking teammates are so such bad shots all the time. Fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I got too close. Shit, shit, shit. No! Don't hit me. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking hunchback. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, this is awful. Damn it. Oh, shit. Come on. Headshot. Come on. Headshot, buddy. Man, this sucks so much. I'm screwed. Did I destroy its AC-20? At least I must have, because it's not shooting me with that AC-20 anymore. Come on. There we go. Man, this is brutal. Yep, I just lost my AC fucking five. All right, let's switch. 
Oh god, everybody's fucking damaged. Man, we're so out crazily outnumbered, man. Okay, let's weapon groups. Weapon groups. For some reason the weapon group on this is terrible. Okay. Come on, out of the way! Come on! Here we go. Finally got that SRM carrier. Oh, something's... Okay, we got that guy. Let's just try... Try a little precision headshotting here. See if we could punch above our weight, because this thing can really hurt us. Alright, let's... That was worth a try. Alright, let's try again. PPC, try not to overheat. Oh, I hit it. I don't know how we're not dead. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, we're somehow still alive. We're somehow all still alive. Get the hell out. Okay. Okay, that just happened. Yeah, additional amount earned. Yeah, no, we're not sticking around. We're getting the hell out of here. This was a death trap mission. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, one of the reinforcements is also always an Atlas. Oh, there's a Zeus. Never mind, maybe it's not always an Atlas. Maybe it just always was for me. This time they were sending a Zeus ass for us. But yeah, no, that, that mission sucks so much. <laughs> so greetings, everybody. Uh, so I see Rob and uh, and Freakbot in here. Uh, I'm guessing you, uh, you rated Darkstar. But welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome! You come at a very interesting time. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, I mean, again, grats on the Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, this one always kind of sucks. And yeah, the salvage always kind of hoses us over. We should have gotten a hunchback out of that, but whatever. I will take the large laser. I will take the AC-5. Uh, and yeah, we'll take an LRM-15. Those are pretty decent tier components, but yeah, we're gonna... That's gonna be a very expensive repair bill. For sure. Um... Yeah, it's it's bad. But yeah, once again, and you could see why one of the reasons why um, Rated Complete Randu is also playing Sympathy now. Oh, nice. I like. Mm, excuse me. Ew, that was. Uh, oh, God, that was awful. <clears throat> Sorry, that was horribly timed. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I love rating random. Uh, random streamers who um uh who are who happen to be playing the same stuff that's that's fun that is fun so yeah um at this point i i don't have to worry about any other missions at this juncture i think till the, the rest of the game uh this mission always ends up being so challenging and literally uh this was before you guys dropped but the second uh or the second before you guys kind of hopped in but the second i dropped i went oh oh no um, so one of the ways, if you know, so if I had known, I, so one of the, I, what I really should have done was just loaded, uh, the game, but I kind of wanted to see if I could fight through it and I'm kind of happy I did. Um, but yeah, if I did a playthrough of this again and I remembered correctly how this thing goes on us, yeah, don't die. <laughs> yeah. No, no dying on us. I'm, I'm not allowed to do that. Um, and so, uh, so one of the ways you can make that a little easier on yourself. So if, again, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact and you're like, hey, how do I get through this errant signal uh, bonus thing? So one of the ways to make that mitigate some of the difficulty on that is a lot of times the enemy dropships will come. And so what you can do is you can pay extra money to have um, or extra mission points beforehand 
to have airstrike support. So when we were playing like tabletop, we had arrow fighters. It was a godsend. And that is very helpful on this mission. So what happens is when the dropship is lovering, you target that spot for an airship strike so that when the enemy dropship, if you can time it right, the enemy mechs will come in, they'll be valid targets, and then arrow fighters will just soften them all up. They usually don't destroy them, but it makes it much easier to get through. Um, but yeah, I was tr I was also trying to aim for headshots, and I wasn't actually getting a lot of those headshots. So that also made life a little diff more difficult too. I usually don't try to go for that many headshots with the weapons I have now. Usually when I'm going for headshots, I'm either doing it with an ER PPC or a gauze rifle. To me, I find those much easier to get headshots with or crap tons of, oh, we got a gauze rifle though for all of our trouble and an LBA 10 X auto cannon. So, and gauze ammo, and we got double, a double heat sink. So that is there. Oh, we got five double heat sinks. Okay. That is very cool. And we, Okay, and we got this. So that's okay. Oh my god, though. Okay, Will of Kali, Haze in the Week. Okay, we'll we'll take this, but we're not gonna do it right now. What we need to do, okay, let's speak to Rihanna. Oh my god. Yeah. We got very, very fucked up and all that. We lost money on that mission, I'm sure. But people heard about us and we gained reputation from it. That mission is so hard. That mission is so bloody hard each time. Hi, Commander. I've just received <laughs> a distress call from a civilian settlement that's under attack by suspected Inferno forces. They have offered an open contract to anyone willing to intervene on their behalf. This certainly fits Inferno's MO. We know they've been driving people from their land. What we didn't know was why. Now we do. After speaking with Spears and combining our research, we made a significant discovery. Inferno activity and refugee displacement patterns correspond almost exactly with the recent discovery of several long lost Star League Defense Force bases and supply depots. We believe that Black Inferno have been driving off the civilian populations nearby, then laying claim to these sites, excavating them and pillaging whatever tech they find. Mars tech. Excellent question. These particular sites have been lost to humanity for centuries. The sites are usually in remote locations, well hidden and, more often than not, completely overgrown or buried. Sometimes both. I wish we knew who was protecting Inferno. Maybe then we'd have more answers. It wouldn't hurt, I'll give you that. Right now, I suggest we take these assholes down a peg by accepting the contract and kicking their ass. Hell yeah. I thought you'd feel that way. I'll prepare the mission briefing while you work on getting us to the Coal Harbor system. Roger that. So yeah, Rihanna is fucking awesome. <laughs> she is uh she is the best XO fucking ever. Alright, so now let's we're gonna go to Buenos Aires to the Buenos Aires star system here. Uh Sendalore is in Scion Commonality. Uh I think the enemy of my enemy is up here. I don't remember what this is. Is that continued on this? Or is that... I feel like the coal star system is over here somewhere. But maybe it's... There's Lopez. Am I crazy? I mean, I might be, but for a different reason. Let's put a few transmissions. Oh, okay. Ran a distress call. Okay. Yep. We'll we'll accept that. We'll get a couple of medium lasers. Okay. Now it'll show up on the star map. Oh, now Sendalore. That was very strange. Okay. So where where are they sending us? Ah, right. Here's Coal Harbor. Okay. So this is the next campaign mission, off in uh, the Free Worlds League, pretty deep in Merrick space. We've got uh, chasing ghosts. We got no pilot left behind. Uh, actually, I think that one is a pretty cool one, uh, if I remember correctly. But what I kind of want to do at this point is let's before we get too crazy here, let's go back to Buenos Aires. Let's let's recuperate. Let's repair some of our mechs, and this is going to be expensive, in the extreme. But for at least a little while, the worst is over. Because, <laughs> yeah, that, that Warzone mission 
Oh my god. I, I always struggle with that. I don't know if may, it's like if an issue with, with that I for some reason struggle with it more than more than most, but yeah, I always seem to have a really hard time with it. Um it just it kinda is what it is. So yeah, we, we pretty much lost uh a bunch of shit here. Okay. So let's uh yeah. Yeah, we lost our those double heat sinks. Okay. So yeah, our our poor Warhammer here. Definitely took one on the chin. Uh, Alright, let's see what we've got in the market. We have a PPC in the market. That would be nice. Okay, we've got a tier 1 PPC. Let's do it. Alright, we'll buy that. Fortunately, we still made... I mean, we at least had a lot of income before doing all that. So let's put two tier 4 machine guns on here. Now we begin the process of repairing our poor Warhammer. Damn thing got just completely obliterated in that whole in that whole thing. Uh, all right, so we got medium laser possibilities. What I might do is put two of these tier three medium lasers on it. I'm actually kind of liking that plan. Let's do that. Because they'll generate a little less heat, but they also have a good rate of fire. So the normal Heat on a medium laser is 2.25. These only generate 1.35. Uh, and now granted they don't do as much damage, but their rate of fire is a little is a little quicker. And so, especially when you're dealing with close quarters combat, it ends up being a decent combination. Let's see, what else could we do here? I'm uh, I'm not inclined. Now what I could do is put small pulse lasers on this. But with the amount that the amount of times that w the Warhammer just takes a shit ton of damage, that makes me a little nervous. I'm inclined. Let's just put these good tier small lasers on here. And just as an example, difference between tiers of lasers, right? So tier one small laser does three damage and 0.75 heat. This one does uh, instead of three, 3.6 and heat is 0.63. Whereas this one's the heat's 0.75. So these these little incremental improvements, they add up a lot. Now, I've got eight tons here. Now we've got a bunch of double heat sinks. Considering how much damage this oh wait, uh I could put an SRM6 and Artemis on here. Could. I could. But again, the Warhammer does tend to take a lot of damage. I'm not inclined to put rare equipment on this thing but if i were going to do it now would be the time and i usually don't get completely devastated like that so i don't know um maybe i should put maybe this is the time to put um the artemis 6 and artemis uh 4 fire control system on here all right let's not get too cute here let's just put an artemis 6 on there and then SRM ammo. That's that's good. We'll put machine gun ammo. Oh, I already have machine gun ammo. And usually one, in my experience, one ton of machine gun ammo is more than enough uh, to handle two machine guns. I haven't. I don't think I've run out of ammo with this once. And same with the SRM six. One ton of SRM ammo. That's that's usually fine um, with this. I think I think I'm okay ammo wise. <clears throat> Can I put uh Yeah, let's put a single heat sink over here. Let's put a heat sink over here. We'll put a heat sink in the center torso. And we'll put a heat sink over here. Okay. okay. So it cools the same. <clears throat> Oh, I don't have SRM Artemis ammo anyway, so it was a moot point. Yep, 73 days it will take to fucking fix all that. Oh my god. Yep, but no surprise there. Same thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I'm now down the Beagle Active Probe entirely. Yeah. Shit. Mark it. So, uh, buy one of those. So I could put the jump jet on here. 
Although I don't even know, you know what? You never use jump jets, so there's no point in even having it on there. SRM4, SRM4, medium laser. SRM4. Wow, this sucks. I can't match the SRM4s. You know what? Won't match the tier, but at least it'll be an SRM4. <sighs> Good grief. Yeah, I'm out the... I'm out those. This is okay. We'll put a heat, heat sink in there. <clears throat> I'm not too worried about that. We've got plenty of SRM ammo. We'll take out the half. We'll just put an SRM ammo in there. Let's improve the ammo armor situation. Did I seriously go max armor here? Yeah, I can't uh, boost that any. I've already have the maximum armor on this thing. <sighs> that might just be how it is for now. Alright, well, hopefully that makes this mech die less. For now. 52 freaking days. Yeah, it is what it is. Alright. Yep. Uh, loadout. Let's, uh, let's see. Air all. Yep, you're uh, down in AC5 and ammo. Wow, I don't have any AC5 ammo? Seriously? All right. Uh, I originally had an auto ultra auto cannon five in that, but I don't want to put an uh, an auto cannon, especially not nothing that valuable in there. I've got three of these, so you know what? You can have that. Let's go to the market. Please tell me you've got armor uh, ammo for that. Oh. You guys don't sell auto cannon five ammo. Awesome. 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 So I'm going to need to buy... Oh, it's got AC5 ammo. It just doesn't have a replacement for a little bit of the ammo that I had in there. So I just need to buy AC5 ammo a little bit. All right. You know what? In the meantime, let's put a heat sink on here. That's fine for now. I'll replace the heat sink later. That one I can just repair. Oh my god. Okay. <coughs> well, at least this one's back up and running. Minimum of fuss. Okay. So I've got 73 days. Now I just have to figure out where I'm going next. And I do think it's going to be back here to do this. And I think we'll do those missions and we'll see what reward we get. It won't be as nice as a gauze rifle, but um, but it is what it is. And then we could work our way probably back over to Merrick Space because I don't see any other valuable... Yeah, I don't see any va really particularly valuable... Although when we travel up, we might start picking up signals again of places we can go. But I think the next place would be to go to Lopez as we work our way up into this area. And we've also got this one over at Ngasaki. The enemy on my enemy. Yep. Let's do this while we're here. Okay, so it takes... It's going to take 48 days to get there. What do we got? Alright, in the meantime, let's head up to Daikon. We'll head up there. We'll do a little bit more... A um, little bit more uh, bookkeeping and logistics. Not hit my microphone arm again. Ouch. Ouch there. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So we've got these. Uh, I also need to collect an LRM 20 at some point if I can. Ooh. But it's not LRM 20 tier two. We were so close. We were so close to an LRM 20 tier two. But we'll keep an eye on it. At some point it's going to spawn and that will be a good day. Uh, AC5, yeah, let's buy AC5 ammo. Perfect. Uh, 
I think we're good there. You know what? We'll do LRM half ammo just to have it. I don't see anything else crazy here. I think we're okay. Ugh. All right. Oh, we could buy... You know what? Shit. Might be time to buy an archer. We could afford that. That would be nice. That would be good. Ooh. That would be good. That would be good. Yes. We will buy that archer. I mean, we have to repair it, but nothing on it really needs to be repaired that much. And now we've got a... We'll finally have a good long-range weapon uh, mech that can actually help us out. Yes, that is a good purchase. That is a fantastic purchase. Okay. Vindicator will go down here. Archer will go up here. Right, trebuchet, boy, does that thing take a lot of damage. But the Wolverine is pretty good. The Archer is nice. Okay, that is sweet. Let's go to the... Um, Let's go to the weapon groups. Uh, I think we're okay with that arrangement. I think I am okay with that. Because the, the computer tends to be heat negative. And so, I mean, what I could do is I could actually go in there, remove two medium lasers, and just put heat sinks in there so the computer fires the LRM-20 more often. Uh, that's one of the things you have to do when you're managing the AI is know how it works. And for some reason, the AI is so heat conservative, it just... It won't fire if if it's uh, if the, it will not fire unless the mech is uh, at a pretty cool state, and so uh, I might just the archer ends up being a pretty decent mech otherwise, like for a human, because a human would actually know better. So I mean, if this were my mech, I would probably put all four medium lasers on one. That way, every time you're hitting the mech, you're hitting all four medium lasers are pretty much going to be hitting one location. You can you could do a lot of damage in an archer uh, just by sticking, and I would probably do LRM twenty on one weapon group and just completely flood uh, flood an area. But I'm gonna leave this alone. I think that's gonna be good for that. What I could do now is I could sell I could sell that vindicator. Wow, yeah, I'd better, I'm better off selling this one. Okay, let's. Let's sell that one. Let's make some of our money back. Because I don't need two Vindicators. Yeah, let's sell this one. We'll at least get two million back. Some of our money. Jeez. Okay. We're doing okay here. We've got work orders. 60 days. So let's take a look here. It's going to take us how long to get there? 41 days. All right. So, I mean, we could go somewhere just in the event. You know what? Why don't we go? Mm. Oh, let's check out the cantina just to see what we might have here. No, that's not going to be good. That's not good. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, all that sucks. I mean, we could just go there and wait for the Warhammer to get repaired. But I would rather... You know what? Let's go hire pilots. Is there anybody that's better? Ooh, Captain Marsh is better. You ready to stop wasting my time? Hmm. Pilot 31. Juarez is back. Might be better than You're Phillips here. 31 as opposed to, yeah. All right, let's dismiss you. You're ready to stop wasting my time? Let's yeah, move yeah. On. Time is money and we're wasting both. Okay. So we'll pick up one pilot here. And... Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to get that LRM-20. So why don't we go to Kazdak? Kazdak. You know what, let's go to Sigma Marie. We'll do this real quick. Then I'll go down and grab myself a drink. And we'll, uh, we'll do this high reward quest. And we'll probably have an easier time than last time. <laughs> but yeah, I think that would also, if I had a human player with me, I think that mission goes a little easier because you can, you can get away with, with different types of coordination. Oh, rare anti-missile system. Yes. We could buy the anti-missile system. We could put that back in the, uh, trebuchet. 
And yeah, Ultra Auto Cannon 5, we will buy that. AMS ammo, for sure. Good, okay. Good, good, good. We could finally, um... Good, we could finally retrofit the, the trebuchet to the way it should be. No LRM-20 though, huh? No LRM-20 tier 2? No, they're not going to give me that. Fuckers. Alright, Kazdik. Go to Kazdik. Let's see if they've got an LRM-20 tier 2. It would be nice if they do, but you know. If they don't, they don't. It's not the end of the world. I'll, I'll be able to pick it up eventually. But uh, yeah, some of these Cantina missions can be a little tedious, but again, the Cantina missions, they're so valuable. Tributes for the Imperator. Oh, and we can get a Warhammer from that. So, Magistry of Cannabis Liaison. Commander, I hope this message finds you well. A former Free Worlds League aligned mercenary company known as El Giza Ghost Riders got on the bad side of the mercenary review board after they abandoned their contract with the League. The Free Worlds, uh, uh, yeah, the Free Worlds League military has issued rest warrants for the Ghost Riders on charges of dereliction of duty, while the MRB has imposed sanctions on the unit, uh, barring them from any future work. Unwilling to surrender to the League and unable to take on any MRB-backed work, the unit attempted to take refuge in the Marian Hegemony. In exchange for clemency, the Hegemony has demanded that the unit must provide tribute to the Marian dictator, Imperator Marius Aureli. Unfortunately, that tribute comes in the form of raiding our star systems, oh god. So, uh, we just received word from Bethelong that the unit was jumped into the system, demanding the militia stand down or be crushed under their boot. We don't know what the militia will do but we doubt we'll be able to hold back the Ghost Riders for long. We're preparing to deploy the first Canopian Fusiliers to deal with this rabble, but they have requested that we enlist mercenary support to supplement their forces. We're formally asking you to come aboard, help establish a beachhead for the Canopian Fusiliers, and assist them in wiping out all Ghost Rider forces. Yes, we will take that. Uh, we will also go to equipment. Okay, so that sounds like a cool mission. Of course, they're not going to give me the stupid for Schnurner. Uh God forbid they gave me the LRM-20 now so lame oh that's actually a pretty cool uh oh yep we're back to the hunchback yeah we're not we're not buying that though okay so where is that we did accept that but where is it wait I, okay that's this area ah okay that's long right that's all the way out here <laughs> oh man all right so we will make our well, as we make our way down this way we'll we'll do that one i actually don't remember how that one goes but the fact that they give you a warhammer is really nice so what we may do is do that we'll work our way this way yeah we'll 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 end up working our way this way but yeah we definitely need to go this way 41 days that's okay. what yes we're we're gonna be in good shape now perfect okay uh, oh, yes, repair mech. Actually, let's do a loadout. No, let's let's repair this mech. Yep. Uh, you're still going to be a mess, because of course you are. Shit. Well, it is what it is. Uh, the trebuchet is going to be 13 days. Well, if I go here, we can outfit it and then head up that way. Which way is it again? That way? Hmm... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go back to Kazdik. <laughs> I was well until your fucking message found me here, right? <laughs> well, I mean, they're offering me paid work and they're going to give me a Warhammer at the end of it. That's... I'm pretty good now. All right, so Battle Max. Let's go in here. Let's do the loadout. Okay. Let's put the anti-missile system in here. I'm not putting a good anti-missile system in there because we fucking know what happened last time. Assholes. Uh, we'll put anti-missile system ammo in there. Take that out. And I need 0.5 tons from somewhere. All right, SRM ammo, and we'll put in SRM half ammo. Perfect. Okay. Wait. AMS ammo. Oh. Okay, perfect. We're in good shape now. Okay, so we have plenty of SRM ammo. We've got an anti-missile system back in here. We are in good shape. Okay. Yep, start work. That's not a big deal. That's just a little bit of a refit. Um, 
yeah, just uninstall SRM ammo out of that. We're going to replace it with SRM half ammo. Install the AMS ammo and install the AMS. We're in good shape. Perfect. Okay, my god, look at that Warhammer, man. Look how fucking fucked up that Warhammer got from that mission. Holy shit. Okay, let's head to Teng. Everything's fixed now. I'm gonna go downstairs, grab some more water, and, uh... Probably grab myself a soda here. By now, my sodas should be getting a little cold. Give me two seconds. Folks, I will be... Oh, we got more transmissions, too. Uh, oh, yes, perfect. Yep, this is what we wanted to do. And yes, we're going to do the invasion defense, I think. They offer us more rewards of some sort. So, yeah, Leo is invading, and we're going to side with the Davians to help assist. This will work out very well. Let's just check. No LRM-20s? No. No. Okay. Well, couldn't hurt to check. Okay. And support Davian. We got a war zone difficulty 60. Not great, but again, it is what it is. Okay, so let's make some money. And let's get some salvage. I like this plan. We probably won't be able to salvage a mech out of that, but at this point, I need to rebuild my my Seabill inventory after paying it on an archer. But you could see why. I valued sea bills because we were able to buy um, we were able to buy an archer now because we've just been saving up money left and right. And so we've got a trebuchet. Um, we'll go with this Wolverine here. Perfect. So we got uh, you're not all that great on that. You're going to be my better Suarez. I'm going to want Juarez in there. Okay, Juarez is a better, is generally one of my better pilots. Although at this point, I'm going to be looking to replace Juarez. Because, uh... Actually, Dickens has a better top thing. But now, nah, this is this is a perfectly fine mech layout. So, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Okay, give me two seconds, chat. I will be right back. Time for soda replenishment! Okay, I have returned. Soda, water. So yeah, um, but yeah, getting back to, um, not to harp on the point too much, but yeah, kind of like Alien Fire Team, Alpha and Beta are pretty, are pretty useless. Granted, the AI in this game is not the, it's not that degree of useless, but they definitely don't pull their own weight. <laughs> The missions are so much harder than they should be if the AI was better. But I do have a mod that has no friendly fire, so at least they're not doing damage to me. Which they would be doing otherwise. I remember the day I, uh... 
I installed that mod and I was like, oh, this game is so much easier now. Because yeah, doing it when your lance mates can actually injure you and they do all the time. Oh my God, it was so much harder. The Davion forces are scrambling to get here, so it'll be up to us to hold back and divert the initial landing party while they make their way to this planet. Good luck, and hold tight. <laughs> yep, the compelling confederation's invading. Oh, I missed. Got that one. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Alright, so we gotta defend here. Oh, there's one more. Must be over here somewhere. Clear off existing enemy forces. They gotta be over here. Question is where? <laughs> Gotta be a tank hiding over here or something. Nearly there, Commander. Approach Well, that was nice. Did the game glitch or something? That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Or is it a VTOL somewhere? Brilliant. Payload acquired. Maybe it's over here somewhere? Well, we got an ER large laser. That is pretty awesome. And a tier three at that. Oh, there it is. Never mind, it's a fucking mech. Yeah, and you have to tell them to attack it each time. Otherwise, they'll just hang around with you all the time. They won't actually engage it. Oh, the archer fired. Oh. <laughs> Problem is we lost our sensor lock on it too fast. Ooh, I actually hit it. That's amazing. I did not think I was going to hit it. I thought I would hit the... Ooh. There we go. Direct hit, motherfucker. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I just missed it. I tried, though. There we go. That was a nice shot. Enemy movement is projected to hit your location at any moment. Time to earn our pay. Let's go and let's go intercept, boys. We know they're coming. Actually, we might just wait here. You know what? We know they're coming. Let's just wait here. The second they crest a hill, I'm putting two PPC bolts right into their fucking face. We got somebody over here, though. Fuck that. Let's go after this blackjack. The blackjack's a fire support mech. I'd rather destroy the blackjack first. Come on, AI. I'm in a slower mech than you. You should not be struggling to get over here. New target blackjack. Yeah, I want... Close into this thing. Fucking mouse. Come on. Damn it. Yeah, I know. Coordinating on target's ID. You. Looks like you got their attention. Damn it. Showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. There we go. Two bolts right into its chest. Oh, I thought it was going to keep on that disc. Got it. Okay, next. Oh, there they are. That's where they landed. Let's go get them. Uh, actually, let's let's wait. Let's just wait for them. Burn that target down. <laughs> All right, I'm liking uh, Burns' chatter. <laughs> Burn that target down. 
Oh, we got a hunchback. That hunchback's gonna be a problem. That hunchback is gonna be a problem. Not liking the hunchback. I'll deal with the hunchback. You guys deal with that shit. What? It already blew my fucking arm off? God damn it. You gotta be kidding me. Unbelievable. I just repaired this fucking mech. How did I miss at that range? Oh, that's so lame. That sucks, man. And I'm not even that damaged either. Fucking hunchbacks, man. All four, all six of those lasers must have hit my arm. God damn. Here they are. Landing here. Yeah, let's just go. Ugh. It makes you sick, man. Let's take that tank apart. Fucking another one of these goddamn hunchbacks. Yeah, you guys go after that hunchback. I'm gonna deal with this tank. See if I can hit this at long range or not. Yeah, it dodged it. Ah, oh, Seraph. Thank you. Now then. I lose so much firepower when it takes out an arm, too. I can't wait till I get a better mech than the Warhammer. I know it sounds strange considering a Warhammer is one of, like, the iconic Battletech mechs. But these things just end up being, at least for me, so fragile. Trapped. Thank you. I think it still got its last fucking punch in on me before. That sucks. Come on, guys. Start doing damage to it. The three of you have been after that one. I destroyed my target. Thank you. Good. It blew off its arm, at least. Like, you guys should be wrecking the shit out of it. It's three on one, man. Yeah, that's how it's done, guys. Come on. <laughs> Your resistance is pulling in more hostiles. All right, so we still we're only halfway through halfway there though, unfortunately. You know what? Let's switch to uh Let's switch to this. All right. Let's also take a look at our weapon groups here. Um Medium laser. Wait, I only have one medium laser? Oh, I meant to put in another medium laser. Shit. All right, well, fuck. Yeah, all right, well, it is what it is. All right. But at least I got jump jets again. And the anti-missile system should help things out. Oh, we're, uh, we're gonna go this way. Yeah, take out the Warhammer first. That could hurt everybody way more. Let's see what we could do. Keep firing, asshole, right? Like, come on, guys, what are you doing? Oh. Damn it, I thought I'd miss. Thought I'd get him to miss there. Oh. But he's 
targeting in the back. Oh, shit. Ow. Come on, guys. Destroy the Warhammer. It's facing back to you. How is it not dead? Let's get up here. Let's get away from it. Well, that's fine. Okay. You're going to face me. All right. Fine. Bastard. We're going to get to point blank range. Come on, guys. Thank you. Man. Now I gotta be careful of the heat on this thing. Enemy mech eliminated. Target acquired. Invalid target. Yeah, if you're gonna turn your back to me, sure. Come on. It's shooting at them because it can't hit me. Yeah, there you go. And if it's focusing on me, where is it? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Turn your back to the, my lance. That's right. We got this. Stupid ass thing. All right. Jesus, though, man. All right, so this has also gone sideways. Lovely. Yeah, but this will be the last of them. Where are they? Oh, here they are. All right. Yeah, this mech overheats like a motherfucker. This actually would be a good candidate for double heat sinks. If I didn't have to worry about the AI getting cored. Oh, shit. Okay. You guys deal with that. Fuck. Uh. Deal with that. Okay, well, they deal with the mechs. Let me clean up the trash. Because these things will absolutely screw us up if we let them. I missed. Thank you. I wish I hadn't uh, had to do that, but okay. Come on, Seraph, get that headshot. Come on, Heat, down. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I was going for it. Shut up. Come on, cool down, cool down. But I'm keeping the grasshopper busy. I think I can do it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Alright, guys. How you doing on this Banshee? Good. You've... Done a number on it. Let's see what we can do here. Get in position here. Oh, I thought you were going that way, but that's all right. One more. Where is it? It's got to be a tank or something. Come on, let's find it. Oof. Okay. Ended up recovering pretty well, all things considered. Yeah, I was right. It was a tank. I'm like, it's only one, and it hasn't shown up. It's got to be a tank somewhere. Let's go deal with it. This is not a bad mech. get the fuck out. Uh, what's the easiest way out of here? We gotta get up that ravine. I think this is the easiest way up. Let's get the hell out of here before more friends show up. Jump jet fuel 
Jet fuel empty. It's all right. We made it up that long hill easier than it would have otherwise. The jump jets served their purpose. Let's get the hell out of here. Right. Okay. Who? Has now made landfall on the far side of the planet. I'm already seeing Liao troops rerouting to their location or falling back entirely. Ooh. Work. It looks like you've saved the Federated Suns from losing a significant strategic location. Yeah. I mean, it was the four of it was just my one lance versus three Capellan lances. And we won. We didn't lose a single pilot. <laughs> like you take damage when you look at that the sheer numbers that they send against you. The fact that we got an ER large laser alone made that worth it, to be honest. Um, yeah, we just don't have enough of these. So I don't know if I like these um, PPCXs. Um, so it's almost like a shotgun PPC. They look interesting. I mean, I suppose I could put them on the Warhammer at this point and just see how they go. Because I'm going to need it anyway. Fuck it. I'm not really seeing anything all that crazy. So yeah, let's do that. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, Juarez is damaged again. Um, nothing was too bad, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> damage. We took two million in damages and only made two and a half million. My God, my God. And when you factor in the um, length of time it's going to take, yeah, now the rest of it's going to be the war zone and become. Um, damn, is there a industrial hub? Close by? Shit. We might be better off just repairing it and just eating the cost of repairing in the, uh, in here. Shit, man. We really might be better off just eating the cost of this. Yeah. All right, let's find out what happens. Let's try this PPCX thing. Fine. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, we're now out these, these, but you know what? We could put these in there now. More traditional medium lasers. It'll be all right. Uh, machine gun. Yep. I'm out that tier. So let's make sure they match. I do prefer them to actually match if I can. Uh, at least I prefer to do that if I can get away with it. Uh, yeah, we're, we're good there. All right, let's try it. 98 days. Okay, cancel. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> that's that's not. Let's uh let's go back to this industrial hub. It's going to be 41 days back there. <gasps> well, it's actually the same. Doesn't actually matter. So let's go back to this industrial hub. And let's repair. Fuck. <laughs> Man, I wish they would keep firing, though. There's not nearly... Man, that AI, though. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, anytime you want to play with me, Nade, <laughs> you, I would be more than happy to have you uh, join in and uh, join in all this fucking shit. Oh, LRM 20 plus Artemis. Rock on. Actually, we'll take that LRM 15 tier 3 also. That's a good piece of equipment. Uh... Actually, Kara mentioned he would be interested in playing this, too. I think that would be fun. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that ER large laser. I already have an ER large laser. Let's uh, let's go in here. Yep, let's repair all. Substitute these out. Get rid of you. Close you out. Let's remove you. And let's try... I mean, I could also try substituting the PPCs for large lasers and have much better heat dissipation because a PPC is so much heavier than a large laser. Um, a large laser Warhammer, granted, a Warhammer doesn't feel like a Warhammer unless it's got PPCs, right? There's, there's something about feeling like you're just launching um, bolts of lightning at things. So we'll we'll try that. We will try that. Uh, medium laser, I'm looking for that. Well, machine gun too. Finding that. Okay. Uh, why is Seraph having a hard time with this? Did I pass the guy who's straight by it? I'm blind.
wind. Okay. So machine gun. Yep. Let's take out you. Put in you. Put in you. It's not that big of a difference, but now it matches. Okay. Let's get you settled. Let's also go in here. Let's repair all. We're also going to take out this medium pulse laser. And we're going to put a tag in here. Hell yeah. That's going to make the AI pilot in the archer way more effective. Way more effective. And so, uh, okay, so what did I, what am I down? I must have been down ammo of some sort, right? Oh, you don't even use jump jets. You don't even use jump jets. So, although sometimes I hop in that mech. Oh, it's okay. Let's, um, I could put a better tier SRM in there. Or I could just put another heat sink in there. So it heat it vents heat a little bit better. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's right. The freaking Something there's always a weird calculation with that. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but anyway. Ammo in this ends up being fine. We'll let it vent heat a little bit better. Maybe it'll fire the SRMs a little bit more. Perfect. That will make that better. Repair. Yep. And you lost an LRM-20. You lost a fucking arm. God damn it. <sighs> you suck. Well, I'm not putting an LRM-20 with Artemis on you. Good grief, dude. Are you serious right now? You know what? Let's do that. Medium laser. Medium laser. Okay. It's not the end of the world. It's the principle. It's the principle of the thing. Hey, serum! <laughs> serum, you say? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I ended up uh, putting a another SRM missile uh, in this in this guy. Uh, all right, so yep, that's that's fine. I still want to try to find these. Um, still looking for an LRM-20 Tier 2. Can't seem to find that to save my life. Not sure why I'm having a hard time finding those. But, um, all right, so let's take a look here. Now, I've got a lot of time on my hands. I got 55 days. Oh, well, that's actually going to work out pretty well. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely the right plan. So let's head back over here. Let's do it. <laughs> I love it. Goes to yes. Short range misses. <laughs> so yeah, Seraph's taken a couple of these on the chin. Not, uh, not thrilled about that, but oh well. <laughs> yes, there's our LRM-20. Granted, it's going to cost almost a million, but it's worth it. Now we can cash this in. We'll make some money. We'll get a good AC-10 out of the deal. And we can get our equipment collector almost maxed out there. Perfect. We're getting there. All right, so we only need to do one more Panther. And we're well on our way for ground vehicle units and warrior units. I think we're, we're doing well here. We're doing well overall. So, uh... Let's try that. Man, I have lost a lot of money, though. <laughs> I lost... I have lost so much money. I am so tall. You guys are just taller. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, I've I've chewed through a lot of money. We were at 20 million. I mean, granted, I bought an archer, so that was a lot of it. But yeah, this is... The last couple of uh, months in-game have not been good for us financially. Let's, uh, let's try and do a little bit of a better job here. Uh, let's try the Wolverine. Uh, what I want to do is battle mix. So I want to do Wolverine, weapon groups, tag. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's do that. 
good. Shouldn't matter. Because tag, for the most part, will just activate automatically. And it'll be good. Deploy. Okay. Let's try and do better this time. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe these PPCXs will actually be pretty decent. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? What have you lost money on? Missions or upgrades? Um, so mostly missions. Um, we're, we're just, we've been taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. Shit. Okay. Actually, I'm I'm kind of okay with our uh, with these PPCs. <laughs> I kind of like these PPCs now. <laughs> you need money to repair. Da oh yeah. Yeah, money. Yeah. Uh, we have to we have to spend money on damage repairs. Yep. That is that is definitely a thing. So sometimes you end up making you know. Well, before that mech destroyed it, I was. Gonna. I had the perfect beat on it. It just just got destroyed before I opened fire. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the uh, after mission report, af in the after mission or in the after after action report, uh, we'll see. Oh, all right. So we're good here. We'll stick close to our allies here, so that at least the enemies have something else to shoot at besides us hang out here see what else is up I don't want to be taking damage from that thank you that battle mech is marked for destruction Let's do it good yes open fire yes that archer's lighting it up you can even see it taking all the damage <laughs> oh it's beautiful damn it Stupid box hitting the way. Hey, Dark Star, greetings! Ho ho ho! Man, we lit that panther up. Oh ho ho ho! Uber crit. I'll give you a shout out in just a second. Greetings. Yeah, we're uh, we're in the middle of a war zone. And uh, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like these PPCXs. So greetings, Dark Star. Uh, <laughs> man. All right, we're we're having a good time here. All right, I don't know why I resisted trying those PPCXs. Those things are awesome. Holy crap, are those OP. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot more damage in this Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, that's what the enemy is going to be saying a lot. <laughs> that was so funny when that fucking happened in game. Boom! Uber crit! We are on your target, Commander. <laughs> Sam, we're having, a good, we're having a good old time. Ah, uh, thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate it. Thank you for handling the shout out there for me. <laughs> How was, uh... Yeah, tons of those. How was uh, Shining Force? Were you playing with some of those mods that you uh, were showing me earlier? Good. Yes, Archer. Light that motherfucker up. Boom. There we go. Hell yeah. Boom. Oh. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Yeah, the only problem is that this PPC is more of a... Oh, boy. Yeah, this PPC is more of like a short-range weapon. It still feels like I'm firing lightning at it, though, so I'm okay with this. But yeah, it, it doesn't have the long-range uh, effects of the normal PPCs. So that part kind of stinks. Uh, now, nah, just con uh, continuing through Scenario 2 of Signing Force 3. Nice. I just got to add the wherewithal to grab the clip and extract the audio. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. And it worked out really well. That that audio is pretty clear. Okay, so this particular loadout for the Warhammer ends up being a more short range build. But I think I'm okay with that. Because I end up in short range most of the time anyway in this thing. Nope. 
There we go. Nope, get out of the way, buddy. There we go. I think there was a tank up here. Let's go kill it. <laughs> I think I saw a tank up here. Whoo! Yeah, Shining Force 3 is awesome. Good, good stuff. New target, champion. Group target acknowledged. And I love the uh, concept of the junk stream. Yeah. The damage on it, though, the range on it just sucks. That's good to know, though. If I see another enemy with that, I'll just know to aim away from it. Ugh. Quit damaging me, catapult. Yeah, that catapult really got me on that particular salvo. It's not bad at you, shit. Okay. Now, let's head back this way. Let's see what's up. <laughs> Having a level up animation makes the whole thing better. Nice. Okay, so we got tanks all the way up there. Yeah, we'll continue as we are, because that ridge is hard to get around. We'll just continue on this way. Yeah, unfortunately, the Warhammer is slow. So it's a little bit of a lumbering beast. Oh, what do we got over there? No, oh, dropped off the sensors. Let's see. Shadowhawk, a champion. We'll probably go after the scorpion here. And that's going to be it. All right. Good deal. Nice. Oh, fucker. Where? Didn't hit me. It must have gotten a target lock for just a second. <laughs> there is nothing. There is. There's. I love the whole stompy robot thing. Yep. Oh, yeah. Your life is going to suck in about a minute. Hey, Urban Mech, why don't you shoot this thing? Oh, you son of a bitch. You guys... Come on. Come on, Lance. Fucking make that Shadow Hawk's life miserable. I want to deal with that tank, and then I'll come back and swing back around. Good. They're skirmishing with it. I want to deal with this tank. I think that's a champion. Yeah, I can't hit it this range. Oh, yeah, the PPCX range is 322. Oh, God, that's awful. <laughs> I have a better range on the medium laser. Target destroyed. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Well, let's do that. Where is it? Ah, right, over here. By the bleed, my mech has gone critical. Oh, we got a couple over here. Okay, fine. This. Now. now we'll rejoin these guys, deal with this champion, and then clean up the last mech that's over there. Looks like it's a uh, javelin, which actually suits us just fine. Taking heavy damage over here. Well, I'm trying to get back. The Warhammer's slow, dude. Yeah, I'm still out of range. There we go.
There we go. Yep, it's a Jenner. Let's go kill it. Hmm. That Capellan mech got very lost. It's like a full click away. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, no, this, this Jenner is toast. The only question is, will it do any damage to me by the time we get to it? That's what I'm hoping not. Because uh, I've lost all of my armor on my torsos. So that's not, okay, let's, let's go this way. Good. You guys go up. Let's throttle it back a little bit. Let them get a little bit of distance on me. Try and make sure it doesn't shoot at me first. Because a Jenner can hurt you. Um, and at this point, if it hits the right torso, or uh, not the right torso specifically, but if it hits, you know, me in the wrong place and I get an ammo explosion, I can have a real hard time. Speed up. Good, we got it. Get the hell out of here. Oh god, we got two clicks to get to that. Shit. Fuck, we are in like the wrong place for it. Okay, let's just try to avoid all that and get over here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get to that before the enemy can get to us. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not. At this point, I want to quit while I'm ahead. Nobody looks like they're seriously injured. Freeman's taking a lot of, taking a pounding. He probably lost an arm again. Hopefully he didn't lose that anti-missile system I just gave him again. Although that catapult, that catapult can hit pretty hard. Yeah, well, we're probably gonna have to deal with that cicada. Yeah, the cicada's coming on an intercept to us. Well, you fucked up. <laughs> That's it. The other mechs don't have the speed to catch up to us. Granted, we're not exactly the fastest lance, but at this point, we're we're good. I think I've done that again. Well, we earned ourselves an additional 40,000 sea bills. So that was nice. That was nice of the, uh, of the cicada do for us. But yeah, I'm one lucky shot and ammo explosion away from losing a torso and an arm. Mm -mm. Let's just get, let's just get the hell out of Dodge. But I do like these PPCXs. Um, right. no more Leon forces. They've either yep. depleted altogether. Get nice here. Yeah, it is like a shotgun. And you can even see it dissipates so fast. But boy, does that do a lot of damage close up. And they don't generate nearly as much heat, so I can actually do a lot more damage in close quarters. Oh, you know what? Well, all right. So I could either take two tier three PPCs or I could take a cicada and sell it for cash. I am actually okay with taking that cicada and just selling it for tons of money. Yeah, let's take the cicada entirely and we'll sell it. Oh my God. See, this this is what, I, what I'm talking about, right? I dealt 1,100 points of damage. Juarez deals 87. Freeman deals 207. Only Marsh really did a decent job, but I think Marsh did a better job because of uh, the tag. That tag really helps make LRMs work. But uh, yeah, so anyway, Let's let's go in here. Oh, we got picked up an LB10X auto cannon. Ooh, and we picked up a couple of uh, AC5s. That was really nice. And we got this. So we're in good shape here. All right. So let's sell the cicada we just got. Yep. We're gonna sell that. Yep. All right. We're making this of some money. Okay. 
And so, uh, yeah, as we uh, kind of gone over, went over here. So if I go in here to, uh, to go into repair, and, uh, oh, actually, I took, I did take a couple of critical hits. It just so happened that none of these got damaged. <sighs> Boy, am I lucky. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to repair all. And so uh, it's going to take 15 days, and it's going to cost 108,000 Seabills to uh, repair all that damage. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be 30 day, a 30-day 30 repair. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't know. At this point, so one of the questions that sometimes you deal with is does it make sense to go to an industrial hub? Um, let's see. I think all of my missions at this point are are galactically west. So here's Earth. Uh, we're sort of close. We're sort of close to the periphery down here. Yeah, we got to go this way anyway. That's probably going to be the next one is to deal with this no pilot left behind. And uh, I mean, unless I go here, that's 83. The enemy of my enemy. That's 76. It really doesn't matter. But if I go this way, I could go to an industrial hub. So yeah, let's go to the industrial hub. We'll repair there. We have to go this direction anyway. And so I may as well save money by just waiting to repair in the industrial hub. And I'll just repair here. Problem solved. Boom, we can buy a double double heatsink and a medium laser of some sort. Okay, so before I do that, let me just cruise downstairs. Let me give myself a little extra water. I'll be right back. Yeah, that double heat thing's awesome. We will definitely spend money on that. Hell yes. Double heat sinks are awesome. They literally work twice as good as the standard heat sinks. They're amazing. Um, tier three medium laser. I mean, it's not all that expensive. Sure, why not? Usually when it's on sale like that, it means that there's a good price on it. Okay, so yeah, let's... Let's just repair. Destroyed SRM-4. Of course there is. Oh my goodness gracious. That one got destroyed. This poor cat can't keep... Uh, just can't go without... Losing shit. And you still... Oh, I didn't actually replace the medium laser. <laughs> uh, that's what's going on here. Okay, so let's remove that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> no, whoops. Okay, that must be what I, what I messed up on. Or 
All right, so let's do... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's repair you. Hell, at this point, I could probably put the Ultra Auto Cannon back in there, even though the AI doesn't use it, but I switch... But I'm starting to switch around when my Warhammer gets damaged pretty good. And switching around to the Ultra Auto, Auto Cannon 5 might not be the worst idea. But of course, if I was going to do that, I'd put the... Uh, no, I keep I have kept the jump jets in here. Maybe it's worth it to put an ultra auto cannon in there. I mean, how many ultra auto cannons do I have? At this point? I've got I've got five of them. So <laughs> hmm. of course, then I'd have to take out. Well, I'd have to take out a heat sink. That's really the only the only thing I'd have to do. Just have to take out a heat sink. Rate of fire on that is uh... now. You know what? Let's keep it. It's okay. Uh... Let's just repair. Same with you. Repair. Okay. Alrighty then. Could hit up Sheba and see what Cantina is available. We've got a couple of these now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to Sheba on our way to Lopez. <laughs> and we'll see what reward is here. That archer makes a huge difference. As opposed to, you know, a Vindicator or a Centurion. Just the, the, oh, wow. Granted, granted, if we bought this, that would probably be like virtually all of my money. But, oh my goodness. Wow, and it's got a Guardian ECM in it. That's actually a really good mech. Well, fuck, I have to think about this. It's not a hero mech. I would much rather... See, I think I'd still rather spend my money on hero mechs. But boy, is that... So the Stalker is a very, very, very good mech. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. That Guardian ECM is definitely going to have me take a lot less damage. And I do like having LRMs. I should really think about that. <laughs> I should really think about... Okay, let's go to our battle mechs. Okay, I could sell the Centurion and the Vindicator. I could sell the Centurion and the Vindicator. That would probably net me close to 2 million sea bills, probably. Alright, so if we go sell... No, the Centurion's sell price is 2 million. And the Vindicator is about 2 million, so we can make 4 million off that alone. And if I'm looking at that, then to buy the Stalker would be about 6 million. And I could use the Stalker instead of the Warhammer. I kind of think we got to go with that, right? I feel like we, I, I feel like that's worth, I feel like that's worth it. I really feel like that's worth it. Oh my goodness. Because then, yeah, we could take the Wolverine out of circulation. We'll probably... You know what? I think I'd take... You know what? Might be better to take the Trebuchet out of circulation. Because the Trebuchet tends to just take a lot of damage. Um, And we keep the Trebuchet as a backup. But boy, oh boy. Uh, that becomes a very good question. Shit, if I'd known, I would have just kept the... I would have gotten the Stalker as an LRM boat. But yeah, that's an intriguing choice, man. Because boy, does the Stalker do a shit ton of damage. I think we got to go with this, man. I think we got to go with this, chat. Yeah, let's do it. Let's sell the Centurion. And let's... Let's sell this Vindicator. All right. Let's go to purchase. Yeah. Let's buy it. <laughs> Let's buy it. 
because we're still we're still in okay money territory. We're not in great territory money wise, but we're in okay territory. Um, could try to sell some stuff if I really needed to, but I don't I don't think that's necessary. Still looking for that. Oh no, we did pick up the LRM twenty. Sweet. Okay, so let's take a look at the. Oh, we sold the cicada. We had it. <laughs> we had this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's try that. We may have already gotten that one. Uh, and Duchy of Endurian, huh? Where is the Duchy of Endurian? Is this the Duchy of Endurian? Ooh, this is the Duchy of Endurian. Sure. Let's do that. Um, yep, let's try that. And we'll try and get ourselves a... A nice little ER large laser. Okay, so we need heavy rifle tier two. We'll keep an eye open for that. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Okay. That's honestly, that's fucking awesome. Okay, the stalker. Let's take a look. Uh, number one. Okay, let's, uh, Go into the loadout details. Okay, so the nice part about this is the large lasers are on torsos, which tend to get blown off a lot less. It's got a lot of, and it's got double heat sinks already, which is awesome, which is awesome. It's got LRM Artemis already. Of course, if I start losing these, that would be a problem, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, um, I'm liking this. Let's uh, let's swap those. We'll swap out the better ER large lasers. I'll try and I'll try and upgrade those LRM 15s in a minute. But uh, in the meantime, let's look at upgrades on that. Let's go to upgrades on this, and. First things first. Yeah, now that I'm done a bunch of cantina missions, you can even see how many of these um, options I have. So yeah, we're going to do the expanded sensor range for sure. And target lock retention we're going to keep. Man, these are a bunch of these. So that's cool. We're going to go with the anchor turn. For sure. Stalker doesn't have jump jets, so I don't have to worry about that. Might go with missile range and velocity because the sooner they get there, because I've had times where you have a target lock and while the missiles are en route, you lose the target lock. But if the missiles get there faster, you know, they'll they'll hit. Plus it's range and velocity. So it's not the range alone is not just it's not just the, the range. It, it really is the velocity uh, for the missiles. I do think going with the fortified. You know, that might not be worth it just yet. But, uh... I do like that. It's a little expensive. I mean, these do add up. I mean, we're already paying half a million Seabills to upgrade this thing. And I could do improved heat dissipation. So right now, it's got... Um, my God, that's a million Seabills, though. No, we're not doing the... We're not doing that just yet. But we'll do these. We'll do these. That's not too bad. The heat dissipation. Where is the heat dissipation? Why am I... Oh, heat... Uh, heat generation multiplier. I'm not looking for that. I want to see how... Okay, fine. Let's just... Just for the amusement of it. There it is. Ah, cooling rate. Right. Okay, so that would turn it from 2.4 to 2.52. That's that's fairly significant. You know, when you add it up over time. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, this works for now. And I'll worry about... Because again, internal structure also takes a little while. Okay. Work orders. Stark will be done in 36 days. Yeah, Stark will be done by the time we get there. All right. All right. Chat, we are ready to go here. Uh, let's go to Lopez. Uh, yeah, that's let's travel to Lopez. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I'm thinking the stalker is going to be 
a better mech than than the Warhammer. It'll it'll sh at the very least I should take a lot less damage thanks to that Guardian ECM sweep. That thing is so helpful. All right, Mech Warrior, my layman Pavel Shenzing, and I send this message in hopes you will bend an ear to my plight. The Shenzings are a noble family, known not only for devotion to the Capella Confederation, but also our proud service on the battlefield. My days piloting a battle mech are long behind me, but my son Dimitri has carried on our fine legacy. Unfortunately, he was downed in battle a month ago and captured by a band of pirates. They're holding him and several others in captivity and are demanding a ransom. It is against our... <laughs> Nobody! Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I added that one. Ah, I love that. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Our primary weapon is fear. And, and surprise. Oh, yes. Uh, two, two of our primary weapons are fear and surprise. <laughs> Went to Lopez. Had to, right? <laughs> uh, I'm unsure of his actual location, but I've tracked the initial message to a suspected pirate hand, uh, hideout in the Lopez system. The inhabitants have established this base among the wilds of the local... Um, Branth population, as I believe these dangerous living dragons will give them extra protection. Now I want to make sure I pronounce that correctly. Okay, so yep, we're also going to do that. We're going to grab this. Wow, we're actually recognized by the pirates? How did that happen? Ooh, we're going to make a lot of money here. Um, yeah, we'll go with a little bit of extra salvage. But yeah, we're going to make a lot of our money back here. Warnings out there, Commander. Expect limited visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. You can go with the Wolverine here. Yes. Uh, actually, you know what? You go with the Wolverine. And Freeman can rock the Warhammer a little bit. Yeah, this should work, right? No, you rock the Warhammer and let me know how that goes. Although... Freeman's better with the energy weapons. Yeah, let's... Sorry. Let's stick you with the Wolverine. And stick Freeman with the Warhammer and see how it goes. Usually I have whoever's in the second spot with the mech with the tag. But I think this will be okay. We'll wait 16 days and then we'll go in there. I need to mess around with the damn um, painting again. And actually make it work. Alright, let's take a look at our new cockpit here Hangar doors open. Stand clear. and I'll also need to customize the um, weapon groups online. Sensors online. Weapons online. yeah I don't sit as high anymore <laughs> and the stalker is also a little slow will cripple them by destroying key strategic targets once they're down We'll be able to provide a scan to determine if Shenzhen is here, and if he is, extract him. Yeah, we'll see if he's here or not. Okay. So first things first. Okay. No. All sorts of no. I think what we'll do is I'll go that route, and I just have to be very careful to uh, not overheat this mech. <laughs> So I go up about that much, firing the ER large lasers. It's actually not too bad. I can I can fire those medium lasers in pretty rapid succession. Good. All right. So based on the layout here, let's go this way first. One of your target acquisitions is in this area. Probable location is marked on your map. Target destroyed. Nice job, Marsh. All right. <laughs> he said before overheating the mech in record time, right? <laughs> That's also why I wanted to fire them now while I wasn't in combat to find out how bad it would get. Oh, God, it's going to be all the way over there, huh? Well, let's... uh. I mean, either way, we're going to be tripping defenses. So let's go deal with what's over here first. And let's see if we can find that. Good grief. Yeah, those large lasers do generate a lot of heat. But I could pretty much just keep firing them at range. 
That'll be good. Wow, that's a really big... That's a really big complex. Up. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, the Stalker definitely lumbers along. <laughs> it is slow as fuck. We saw them for a second. I know they're over there, but hey, fuck it. Up. You know, fuck. It. Let's just go after our targets here. No, I saw it. it blipped on the map once. Oh, you got. Oh shit. Fuck. That sucks that this charger just got up here. Target received. Engaging. Good. Light up that fucker. Yeah, so normally, if, uh, if a charger gets that close, you fucked up. But yeah, there was no way to know it was even here. going to be in minimum, minimum range of that. That's enough of that tank, though. All right, so far, the Stalker's not bad. Yeah, I'm liking the Stalker. But yeah, it definitely has a heat issue when you're firing the medium lasers and the large lasers. Jeez, man. You guys have that. We'll just walk through this and destroy it. Yep, you've got that. Scratch that target off the Perfect. List. Okay. Now let's proceed to that. See if we can get to it. We're probably going to have to get through that one first. But it is a raid, so not the end of the world. <laughs> I think we can destroy this. If we shoot it enough. Oh. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun with an LRM-30 hitting you, bastard. <laughs> Man, this weather is nuts. We got a laser platform. The tank. Alright, fine. Let's deal with the turret. Yeah, I'm liking the stalker. <laughs> I am definitely liking this stalker. That was a good choice. It's slow as balls. Damn it. Now it's destroyed. <laughs> we put a lot of missiles in that fucking... Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Fucker. Hey, guys, I got an idea. Focus target updated. Job. Okay, we're doing all right. That dragon was a little scary, but we handled that all right. Man, this, uh, the only problem is the stalker, much as it's got a good... All right, Rob, <laughs> try not to blow up. I will try not to blow up, but I will try to also blow up a lot of other stuff. Have a good night, man. Thanks for coming out. Always fun. Yeah, I'm liking the Stalker. It's just, um, it's not the most maneuverable of mechs. Target neutralized. All right, 
Got all these. Let's go. Yeah, shocker, the Warhammer's taking the most amount of damage. That mech just is a damage magnet, man. <laughs> that mech is just such a damage magnet. But the Stalker is a well-designed mech outside of the uh, speed of it. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Just because of the sheer... It's got a really nice offensive platform profile. Good long range firepower. Oh, got a little stuck there. Once you've found a targeted asset, move up to it and we'll begin oh, the We've got two procedure. of these. We've got this one and we've got the one that we actually came here for. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Unless they're trying to screw with you. <laughs> right, yeah, we picked us picked us up a heavy rifle. A nice. Must be near. Have a look around, Commander. That worked out well. All right, nicely done. Have some extra ballistics. And now let's finish up this mission. But yeah, a lot easier when we're not in a mech that's a fucking glass cannon. <laughs> so technically, I think we do more damage in this than the Warhammer. But the Stalker is just so much more resilient. And the Guardian ECM suite scrambles uh, enemy sensors so they will they will actually hit you less guardian ecm is really nice and also what's really nice is the guardian ecm works in an area of effect so it also helps my ai lance mates take less damage as well yeah it's fantastic having ecm and i usually if i have a mech that has ecm i will i will take it with me and try and stick close to it same with a mech with an anti-missile system but I find the Guardian ECM is way more useful than an anti-missile system. Most of the time. Unless I'm in the mech with the anti-missile system. But... Have fun with that, bastard. Enough for that tank. This way. Yeah, we caught it in a nice crossfire, and that was all she wrote. All right, let's see. Oh, I didn't realize how late it was. Shit, it's a fucking midnight. <laughs> Whoops. Right, so maybe this will be our last mission of the night. that. Probably going to be a turret of some sort. Yep, there it is. I'm trying to get the hell out of here, but where is this dropship? I don't see it. Alright, let's just bolt unless it's gonna show up here. Oh. Tango down. That. Well, maybe the terrain will hide us while we make our exfil here. But yeah, much better. The stalker is just Yeah. Even with the slowness of it, the stalker is a way better mech than the Warhammer. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, 
I didn't really want to do that, but ouch. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I knew if I, had, I got it to turn its back on my, the le rest of my lance, it was not going to be long for this world. There is nothing worse than being in a battle mech and getting shot at in the back. We got ourselves a nice, uh, got ourselves a nice cantina item. Let's see. What do we got? Eh, not enough for a mech, but that's a lot of really good tiered weaponry. Ah, uh, we could replace the medium laser small burst that we lost to damage earlier. All right, let's just go up here. Let's just see what else looks good. I think we'll take the LRM-10. And, um... Sure, we'll take the Tier 3 AC-2. Just in case we ever want to use it. And, um... Yep, we're in good shape. Okay, that works. Okay, yeah. Okay, that Warhammer... Yeah, alright. So, and he took out... He actually took out more mechs than I did. Alright, so that's a good combination. That works. Okay, this is this is going to work. This is definitely going to work. You actually underperformed that I thought, but maybe it was just the nature of this particular map. But I still think Marsh has been doing a pretty good job with that archer. Yeah, I obviously got to improve the Wara's Wolverine. But I mean, we've had Wolverine since quite literally... Oops, got to not hit the mic arm. Um, but quite literally since the very start of the game... Uh, so yeah, I, that's not, that's not really an indictment on, on this particular pilot. It's just, it is what it is, but yeah, big difference. Um, having, Ooh, we got a nice little large laser too. Sweet. Faster missile reload. And that one's not a big deal. Oh, we got two of them. Refined armor. Yes. We will absolutely be doing that refined armor for sure. Yes. Yes, so much yes. It's expensive, but it's so much fucking worth it. Just that extra 5% armor can make the difference between losing an arm and and keeping it. Uh so yeah, I absolutely will be will be doing the refined armor. Oh my god, that's huge. Okay, so yeah, it seems the pirates are craftier than we thought. The pilot and other prisoners were either moved before we stuck or were never at the base to begin with. The attack, however, was not fruitless as we followed the pirates' tracks. To what is likely the captive's true location. To keep them from smooking, uh, spooking the pirates before we're ready to strike, I'll need you to do some tricky maneuvering. If your mechs can draw the pirates away from their main operating base, your dropship should be able to head down planet side and extract the prisoners while they're occupied. And so, yep, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, so we gotta prepare, and yeah, way way better. Oh, we'll put that there. Prepare you. Yeah, way better. <laughs> We took so much less damage, chat. You took so much less damage. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. So that's all set up. We got to do a war zone. And uh, so let's, let's go to that. We're not going to do this tonight. I'm just going to set up for uh, for our deployment to the next, uh, for the next stream. And I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um... Might be Saturday during the day uh, for this. Um, I have to figure out how this the rest of this week's going. Collect two heavy rifles. That would be nice. Oh, we got an LRM-20. You know what? I am going to buy that because, frankly... Um, ooh, that's nice. But that's just too expensive. That's just entirely too expensive. Okay. But our mechs should be repaired now. They are. We're ready to do this contract. Couldn't do that. We're getting we're getting close with the grand vehicles and the warrior units. 
We're not seeing too many spiders or javelins, so that part kind of sucks. We may end up just abandoning that cantina job because it's just not giving us... It's not giving them uh, these to us, so that's unfortunate. But this is a good place to stop. So let's save. So the last time we did this, we were Reputation 8 at 1622 days, and now we are... Yep, four, it was basically an entire year later. So let's save that and exit. Let's let's exit this and let's see what's going on here. Maybe there's someone else we could raid out to. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, Cobra's playing Snatcher? I thought she'd finished Snatcher. Um, yeah, let's go see how she's doing with that. All right, so let me let me set up this and let's go let's go drop in on her. See how she's doing. interesting that she's still doing snatcher um but yeah we'll, we'll like i said we'll figure out what's uh we'll figure out exactly what's going on later um let's see what the story is yep she's oh it looks like she's closing on the end too perfect so yeah let's let's get this thing started and uh yeah so the plan will be for sure saturday but um i have taken to yes uh, tomorrow off so i may end up streaming during the day tomorrow but either way, I will definitely stream on Saturday during the day and I'll probably go back to East 5 on Sunday night regardless. But in the meantime, 